Looks Ooh, like I think that's Scar that's playing the Leo. Yep, that is yeah. indeed who it is. Let's going see how things are gonna go. Yeah, going in for the Kabari into the uh, Tatsumaki. Let's see. And I do believe I've seen Snap ponder before, if I recall. Unfortunately, right now they're seeing the um, the bad side of uh, Leo's uh, blades. Of course, I don't think there's a good side to it, to be honest. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> You know, you got you just got that you know very uh, savage mix-up game just going back and forth uh, between both sides of the character. You know. Yeah, but Yo Johnson, maybe they can get a little opening right here coming from Snap Ponder. Yeah, and so to, going oh, in the 2D sweep. Kind of crazy. What's up, everybody in chat? I hope you guys are enjoying things as they're starting to get kicked off right now. So let's see, going in. Let's see, gonna go for the mix. I'm gonna definitely go. For, oh, actually, that didn't catch. Oh, oh, there we go. Gonna go right to the super. No, decides not to go for the reset on the. On the. Oh no, Ooh, you stuck super. your foot out. This thing though, this is still gonna be quite tough. Yeah, not the best OG on that. Yeah, no. Uh, let's see. Ooh, going in for that PRC. Oh, Into the tech throw on the top. Wow. One burst. Can't possibly save himself. Doesn't reach far enough. First Ooh, gets baited out. And Scar is going to be taking the first game tonight. I guess you can say it's tonight. It's 4 3 here. Yeah, oh. it's 4 3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was a nice little kickoff, if I do say so myself. Yeah. So let's see. We're going to go into the next match here. Mm -hmm. And guys, in between these um, these games or the matches or whatnot, uh, take it upon yourselves to go hit up that match, Serino. We still, I know for a fact, we have some contribution codes that still need claiming. Don't make me get the nunchucks. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be civil right now. I'm trying to be civil. Ooh, going in for the low into the Kabari combo. Oh, that was beautiful right there. So Tommy Matt's going to get snuffed out by the DP. Perry is not going to come out. Combo does his uh, extended though. Yeah, no, let's see. Going in for the Tommy Mac. Gonna keep uh, that momentum going. Keep that momentum going. Into the blue RC. Oh! Y RC counter. Oh. Trying to. Oh, there we go. Now you're stuck on stupid. Let's see what's gonna happen. <laughs> going for that tether. Oh, breaking the wall! Didn't With that super. Need. You know what? I probably wouldn't have gone for the super there just because it's gonna give them a little bit more burst meter back. But that's, you know, that's their decision. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's see here. Going in for those low drafts into the DP. Let's see. Going in for that mix. Uh-oh. Smooth criminal. Stepping all. Oh, got a burst on deck, though. But I think they might decide to hold on to it. Uh oh Going in for up, the grab into the tether. Once again, stuck on stupid. But DPs, everybody. DPs into the red RC. Oh, is that going to come? Okay. I thought it might connect to get on the wall. They are going to be taking that burst into the next round let's see who's going to be taking it oh, taking game number two over here kind of even right about now yeah going in for the tatsumaki map oh what's in the grab throw. yeah you know that move right there always gives me 2d just doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> yeah going in right for that grab oh my god the onslaught uh uh left right left right Let's see, going for the Kabari. You see now the Kabari. Let's see. Oh, going in for those jabs into the tether. Oh, no. <laughs> it's stuffed out by the DP. Oh, the parry's gone. The counter it right there. Of course, you don't have to worry about any damage. Just stop the onslaught. This is going to be a punish on the DP. Will you have enough to kill? It looks like you will. And looks like Snap Ponder is going to be heading off taking this next game right there gonna tie things up that's good it's good yeah looking like it looking like it yeah um, i'm curious you know last time i was up on the mic which was last saturday surprisingly um yeah. we had like every single game besides the last one going up into top eight was a, oh like, wow f it was a first i mean it was a um it was a final game like every uh -huh. single one of them they all went the distance and it was yes. it was weird I don't know if we're going to experience that same thing today, but if we, get, if we get a lot of back and forth like this, then it's definitely possible. DP on round start. What a mad lad. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We're going in for the aerial Kabari. Oh, going in for that low. Early burst. Burst often. If you burst early. 
Yeah, going in for that Yozansen. Gonna carry that momentum with the Katsumaki mat. Let's see. He got hit by the Tatami mat. <laughs> Yeah, gotta, oh. gotta, gotta watch for that to, to that sneaky uh, tatami mat, you know? Yeah. Sneak up on your homies. Uh-oh. Oh. How you parry this man's foot when it was like he was off the ground? You know, honestly, that is that is a good question. I would not know that myself. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I sometimes think that it would be nice if Viking had like a... Maybe make the parry a little bit better. But then, you know... Make oh, it a it's not like a, a six parry. frame parry, though. It's not, it's not the best parry in the game, though. Think about Leo's parry. <laughs> I mean, true, true, true. I mean, true. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a point there. You got a point there, yeah. I'm just saying. Uh-oh. You definitely <laughs> go to the wall, buddy. Oh, no. Did not get the full combo. And gonna get countered by the GP right there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh, heavy yeah. counter hit. Gold burst. Get, get that, um, that stupid rope off of him. Can we kill right here? Super? Can it kill? I feel a breeze. Ooh, I think it does. Oh, no, no, it not doesn't. Wait. Yet. No, not, no, not just yet. Scale. Oh, going in for that mix, though. There we go. Dual. All right, and things are yet again tied up. Tied up indeed. Let's see what happens here. Uh... Oh, wow. The respect that Scar is giving Snap on it right there with that run up to get the grab. Ooh. Oh, going in for that low sweep. Oh. No burst. Interesting, the interesting, now. interesting. All right, all right. Can we take it to the wall? Going in for that Kabari juggle. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, going in for that overhead. Oh, no. oh, trying to correct it with that PRC, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, we're not able to, we're not able to block the overhead. Oh. Throw it to the corner. And get set up. And that's going to take it right there. So we are getting a good... A good amount of back and forth right now as Scar takes the third game. They're going to have to win the next two games if they want to move forward in the winner's side. And you don't want to, not this early, you know, it's, it's very hard to make the Cinderella story and come out of the winner's uh, round one and come back and get the victory. Oh, yeah. So let's see. Oh, going for that flash. Oh, going to go to that and Safari. Uh -oh. so wall, wall break. Yeah, it is. Going straight into the super. The wall break gonna get some meter back on their side as well. Snap under, fighting back right now, trying their best. Into the red armor. Oh, that was a beautiful round right there for Snap under, getting that that perfectly timed counter right there at the end. Yeah, let's see here, going in for those jabs into the DP. Ooh, wow, yet with the again. Yeah, burst is definitely coming out. I'm surprised they didn't go for the bait. Ooh, going in for the Gabari. Oh, the kill Johnson. You know, it's kind of a shame. She, she is wearing open toe shoes, so that 2S probably hurt quite a bit. I'm just saying. Ooh. Bad time to your Johnson right there is going to get you sent through the wall, Snap on her. Yeah, going in for the... Oh, going in for the sweep. And, and and getting caught on that parry right there, you might be relying on it a little, just a little too much. And now Scar is on match point, Snap Under. You're gonna have to, you, you have to win this. Yeah. This is not an option. So going for that Kabari, gonna go in. I'm trying to switch up the pace between a defense and more, but you come to me kind of, kind of way. They can maintain this. All right, now we're going back for an offensive approach. Looking like it, looking like it. Go breaking the wall. Snap bar her again. Once the, with the offensive actually has a full bar of health right there. Going in for that perfect. Oh, and yes. There it is. The <laughs> Going to bait out the burst and take game number four. And now we are going to a game five, everybody. Game and five To be quite fair, I don't, I don't know which way it's going to go, Ember. Yeah, I mean it's uh, I mean it's definitely like a, a volatile matchup. You know, you got yeah. you know biking with with all those like anti you know rush uh, type of tools, mm -hmm. um, and then and you got Leo who uh, definitely is a very rush character himself, but also you know having a, a, a wider range of tools you know of his own, especially you know the parry, you know. So it's uh, it's very very interesting, I would say, especially with yeah. that DP you know you know reversal that you got to watch out for. Definitely.
I think that these characters, I don't think it's um bad for either one of them necessarily. I think it can be kind of even in most cases. Mm -hmm. They just, they both have quite a few tools. I do think Biken has a few more tools, but I think that, I think Ooh. that Leo's are a little bit more potent than what they do. <laughs> Catching that parry into the super wall break, wow. Yeah, things are not looking very real for Snap Under right now. Both bursts are on the table, and I do not advise Snap to burst right now. You don't want to go into this next round with no burst. Dual two. Let's oh, very oh, random God. DP coming out on round start right there. <laughs> I think Star's trying to strike some fear in the Snap Under here. I'm going into those low jabs, into the... Oh, oh no. catching that with Harry. Yep. And it, that could possibly um, spell Snap's final burst of this match right here. If Scar has something to say about it. Definitely going to get the wall break right here. Things, things are just not looking good for Snap Under right now. Who's going in for the low? Into the... That oh! It's going to be it. The juggle! Are not gonna drop into this. the... Oh, overhead! Yep. Breaking just it over like that. Scar. Yeah. Being at the other at the end of that blade and <laughs> Yeah, it's not fun. Oh, looks like Odd Toaster is trying to start off very fast. I know this is not the best matchup for Potemkin. Omega, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to really try to have an uphill battle right here. Yeah, let's see here. Gonna go in, gonna keep that going. The pressure going in the corner here. Into that grab. It's snack time. Yo, Glob, thanks so much for setting up those predictions, guys. Place your decision on who you think is going to be the victor coming out of this. Right now, yeah. it's looking like Odd Toaster's kind of dominating this round, but that does not mean anything. Omega listen, can... Listen, we're waiting for grab. that Potemkin clap back. Yeah. <laughs> Look, all you need is a few... It's, it's a waiting game with Potemkin. We need a few chances. Absolutely. We're going to go uh -oh. for those swings. Yeah, just trying to range him out right now. Gonna get caught by the slide head. Oh no, Garuda Impact is gonna get backdash out of the distance. Omega now hoping to dream. Are you gonna go for the burst? Looks like you're gonna perish with it. All right. It looks like that was, yeah, it looks like that was a two slash right there. Mm hmm. Looks like Autos is gonna be moving forward right now um, after game number one. And let's see if Omega can, uh, you know, clap back and, you know, just grab, grab him some a little bit, you know. But right there, it looked like things were kind of in favor of Odd Toaster. But this is a matchup that I don't think is very good for Potemkin in the first place. Of course, tournament settings, you're kind of forced into those bad kind of, um, you know, situations, Ember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So let's see what goes on in the round chart here. Going for that block. Looks like we yep. got Autoster starting right off on the offensive, just applying that pressure in the corner, going from the Fukios. Uh-oh, tries to go for the butt slam. Ooh, the whip sort of impact. That's going to hurt. Going to go in. Let's see if they go for a burst here. Yes. Okay, going into those low sweep. Uh-oh. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of blocking coming out of Omega, but to be quite fair, Odd Toaster is causing that kind of effect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's let's see. We're going into duel two right now. Uh, going in for the oh slash into the oh catching Ooh, cross that cross up Hips. butt slam. Crap. <laughs> Listen, I love the cross up butt slam pack. I am I am here for it. Oh yeah. Okay, back that to close slash. But Nago doesn't have a lot of recovery frames on that. It's gonna be hard. See, the, the problem is that Omega just can't get in and approach. I think utilizing slide head just like that right there is probably a better decision. But it's also yeah. very tough. There oh we go, God. TRC Bot Buster. TRC. Wow. Evening things out just a oh, little bit. Grab. TRC to correct it though. Let's see. Let's see if they can manage to you know, finish this right now. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Let's see here. <laughs> Gonna go? Are you gonna go in for it, Omega? Huh? Uh -oh. They're definitely feeling each other out. Let's see. Going in for that slide head. Gonna eight. establish that neutral. Gonna go in one for the red away. RC. Ooh. Oh, great defense right Ooh, there. Oh, the did you dash oh, no. into the wave? What just what? happened? No way! How? No way that happened! Unreal! How did he Houdini through that? 
What just happened? How did no, he get man. through that? No nah, man, that ain't that ain't Wait. real. <laughs> did, can you can you six p through that? What happened? I don't know, man. What happened? I don't know what's man. real. What's real anymore, Loopy? I you don't know. know. <laughs> they used to tell me that like Nago's uh, Fukio was a teleport, and uh. right now I'm thinking that that might be true. It used to be false, but Dice came out and changed it to a teleport. So I don't know what just happened. To me, I thought it was in the bag for Omega. Yeah. We, honestly, we need to get a replay on that. We need, I need that to was, replay that was, right now. Yeah, someone got to clip that. That would be pretty crazy. Oh, man. Okay. Back into it now. Ooh. That That is not... Gold burst in mid-air. Look at that. Hey, what it was got him that? in the corner. So, some DM <laughs> potential there. Let's see. Got them in the corner. Uh, ooh, going oh, in for that low right speed. Ah. Yeah. Uh-oh. This might be a... Impact. Yep. Ah! Here we go, right there. Woo. Woo. Somebody said that Naga player got that dog in the best symbol. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. That's that ghost dog right there. This man hit a whole Gengar. <laughs> yeah, going in for those aerial juggles into the red RC. Let's see. Breaking the wall. Breaking the glass and kicking ass. Let's see. Yeah. And Omega cannot afford to lose these rounds like this. Because it is the their draft. night now. Match point for Odd Toaster. Man. You know, when I saw the name Odd Toaster, I wasn't expecting an odd victory on that last that last game like that. That was that was just weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. But Let's now. See. Oh, gold, gold burst, burst for Odd Toaster. Gonna go for the 2H. It is gonna get blocked. Resources at the disposal. Whiffing that grab, but using that PRC to make it safe. Yeah. Going for the low Gets sweep. Gets by the sweep. And this is looking very bad right now for Omega. Okay, gonna catch them with the Garuda Impact. But, oh no. You know, that's the kind of situation you get put in when you have such a low amount of high life. And you're spamming that burst because you know it's the only thing that can save you, but it ends up being the one thing that causes you to lose. And oh, now yeah. our toast is moving forward. <laughs> Dual one. All right, guys. Looks like it's gonna be Leo versus Faust. Let's yes. see what this is all about. Let's see, going to burst out. Extremely uh, early burst. Yeah. I didn't even think he was in danger. Yo, they're both getting rid of him. <laughs> Oops, no burst. Oh, yeah, going, going, no wall. Burst. going into. Oh my goodness. Did you see? Did you see Baby Faust back there? He yeah, walked, yeah, he's he just, walked he's just right kind of up. Chilling. He's just kind he of chilling around. Right he's like, he's like, nah. He's like, nah, nah. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't dealing with that. He's like, you can deal with that on your own. Like, <laughs> you, the way you beat up my dad? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right. Looks like Pip is back into the other corner now. Just cooled off with those ceiling fans. All right, a good seven-letter game right there for J Rain, moving up 1-0 right now over Pip Gaming. Woo! Yeah, that was that was pretty fun with Fouls. I'm not gonna lie. He walked right up. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> like nah, nah, homie. <laughs> not today. Not my battle. <laughs> he could have helped too. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, let's see if Pip can come back right now and you know try to you know try to, try to even that. things out. Yeah. Oh, they get started right there with that. Then it might just wait. What? Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, the uh -oh. hammer prevented the combo. Thanks, hammer. You don't always mess things up, but when you do. Yeah. Let's see. Going in for that back mix up. Oh, into the red RC. Oh, uh, Wow. I, I had no idea he had crisscross applesauce right there in the corner. <laughs> Let's see. Gonna go in for the grab. Going into the back stance. Ooh, going in for that overhead. Gonna go for that overhead stun. Ooh, first. Uh oh. It's, it's, it's barber time, baby. Let me let me, yeah. let me hook you up. Oh. That's the GTA San Andreas haircut right there. BP into red RC gonna keep those overhead pressure oh going in the corner. And that's another quick game right there for J Rain. What what did you eat today, J Rain? Like ten cans of Red Bull? What are you trying to do? Speed run things? What is this? <laughs> the can and all. <laughs>
the the nine moons tournament speed run <laughs> yeah like it's not even that it's not even that serious come on man i want i want my pre-top eight commentary to not be that short come on now <laughs> all so right we're going here. into game three here um oh, let's see i think that the issue the big issue is that pip gaming is just trying to get started and jay yeah. range is just 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 continuing the onslaught and not letting up Left, right, left, right, left, right. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, going in for those lows. Oh, trying to trying to switch, but it wasn't enough. Going to go. Oh, those aerials. The items, the items, the items. Oh, breaking the glass right before the bomb goes. Oh, there we go. Going to get picked up with a mix, mix, mix. But J Rain says, get oh off gosh. me. Got to utilize that burst. That PRC teleporting to grab. That was nuts. No flame is gonna get on that afro. There we go. Sriracha bottle, 5D. And you're gonna be going through the wall. No combo gets dropped, but manages to pick it back up. Oh yeah, gonna break that wall. Let's see. Yeah, things are very even right now. Okay, not now they're not. Jay Rain moving up on match point right now. Let's see if Pip Gaming can make the clap back. Oh, going in for that 2D sweep. Yep. Playing keep away is the name of the game, and that's what Pip Game is going to have to do. Keep Leo out away from all that pressure. Going out yeah. mini Faust. Let's see if you betray us this time. You do not. All right, no. so Racha Sauce has been applied. Looks like it's hitting. Let's see. Going to go for that counter hit. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, oh okay, okay. All right, all right. All right. Going in for that uh, command grab in the air. Once again, adding more Sriracha. That, that, that hair is spicy right now. Mad <laughs> spicy indeed. Gonna go in for the mix mix mix. I smell Double mix mix mix, in fact. I smell the DP coming. Wow! J Rain was blocking all of that. Yeah. Wow, the double command grab. Look, you're gonna get this haircut. You're gonna get this haircut. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, gonna go in for that 2D sweep. Once again, advancing. Gonna close in. I think uh, the, the whole uh, name in the game right now is Jay Range is trying to close in on Pip Gaming. And Pip Gaming is just is trying to play keep away, but it doesn't seem to be enough just yet. Let's see. 2D does not need to be an anti-air like that. That's crazy. Uh-oh, <laughs> things are not spelling well for Pip Gaming right now. No, but looking looking very... Not, not too great. Oh, that mix. Yep. It looks like it's going to be a 3-0 victory right there for J Rain. But forget about all that. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Strip Chicken versus Diaphone coming up right now, everybody. Let's see what's going to be thrown down. Popping it out right now. Let's see. Going in for those low sweeps. They, they've done a lot of crazy stuff with Bridget. She has become a very, I think, a very technical character. Even oh, yeah. she, she was already technical. Last night, what we saw, even on Yo-Yo Master, was crazy. Yes, yes. Yo-Yo Master was clapping it with Bridget, and I believe Yo-Yo Master actually is in the bracket tonight. Uh, Probably so. I mean, the thing about it is that people don't know what this character's doing, I feel like, most of the time. It's, it's well, it's just a lot of mix, you know? So it can be, exactly. it's a lot of, like, second guessing. It's a lot of faking out. Um, as I'm sure you will see, you know, uh, in Diaphone's gameplay. I don't know how, how heavily he utilizes it versus, say, like, Yo-Yo Masters, but... Yo, I will say this. Um, guys, predictions are up. You got quite a little bit more time to uh, put some predictions in, so don't forget to do that if you want to do it. Once it's gone, it's over. Can't get in. Oh, and I like the gunplay changes on Soul, too. I know I know that the patch has been, you know, long gone now, but... It's been here for a while now. What, like a month now, maybe? Uh, yeah, it's about. It's been about a month, roughly. Um, yeah, the the gunplane changes are actually really controversial. Some people are like, oh, it's a huge nerf. Some people are like, oh, it's a buff. I'm thinking it's like neither. <laughs> it's kind of a trade off. <laughs> I like it. I, I like it being a little bit faster. But there we go. Diaphone's gonna be taking game number one right there. Um, one zero over Shrip Chicken. Mhm. Mm yep. 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 I mean, that was, yeah, was kind of, out. I'm not going to say it was one-sided, but I think Diaphone kind of controlled uh, the space quite a bit during that last game right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which, I mean, Diaphone's kind of like taking this character and ran with it. Um, but I will say, you know, 
it is possible to uh t- to get the better of him as I have once before. I hope he, I hope he's listening right now too because he's gonna say something after this. So probably. <laughs> but, <laughs> Be going in for the six S. Oh! All right, gonna go oh, in I'm for that grab. All right. All right. Yeah, I, like I think last night I even compared like. Um, Bridget's just like a way better version of Millie, I feel like. <laughs> kind of. I mean, not not as much left-right mix-up. Like, Millie is very heavy on the left-right. It's just like the, I don't the, think, the I don't mix think... to me. Yeah, the mix. Like, the definitely, like, very big on, on the mix. Still, I think it's just, like, not as not as left-right as Millie, you know? Because, like, yeah, Millie... does have a DP, though, which is really good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Her DP, her DP is uh, kind of slapped. Right, the iPhone trying to bait out that burst, but Shrimp Chicken has none of it. Not going to do it. Which I agree. Ooh, going Ooh. in for the Bandit Bringer. Let's see. Okay, now you got a guess right here. Going to get an extension right there. Wow. Ooh, the burst. Safe jump into the burst bait. They eventually got the burst. Ooh, the Roger super breaking the wall. Let's see. Ooh, gonna go in. Oh, look at that! Applying the pressure into the red RC. Let's see. That should be 2-0 for Diaphone right there. Okay. Wow. So, looks like things are gonna be a little bit different this time. Uh, um, I mean, it's definitely possible for Shrimp Chicken to come back right now and um, get to reverse 3-0, but it's gonna be very tough against somebody like Diaphone. Um... Oh yeah. I mean, more power to them. I if they do it, they definitely get the kudos. They definitely deserve any kind of kudos they can they they get from that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. Let's see. Let's see if we can get that. We can see that reverse. Is Diaphone going to any majors? Um. I'm gonna be honest. I do not I know. know. <laughs> <laughs> let's check. Let's check the Diaphone tour schedule. Yeah, that's I what know, players should do. They should set up like to tour before. schedules, like 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 music artists do. They just like be like, "Yo, you know, I'm here, here, here." Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say you can go ask. Uh, like, Diaphone's typically um, streaming their run. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know that is true. That is true. Anyways, yeah. oh, going in. I know that he has blessed majors before, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that wake oh, up super calling that out. Right yeah, it's always painful when you, you when you get that uh when you get that DP called out as soul. Yeah. Dual two. Let's rock. Okay. You know, I, I rarely see people use the DP outside of wake up with uh, Bridget. So it was right there just like on block. I'm, I'm surprised. Ooh, going into right, the but there's DP. a DP you see all the time. <laughs> oh! Wow, the Ugh. double the double dust into the corner there was pretty cool to see. Oh, good block right there on the instant air overhead. Oh, we went low this time. Oh, going in for the Ooh. Okay, correcting with the Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Listen, those those uh, extended frames on the five H definitely going to strip chicken's favor in that situation. Definitely. Wow, that extended combo. You gotta love it. Okay, no burst on the table right now for strip chicken. Gonna smack diaphone out of the air. We're gonna gonna force out diaphone first. All right, uh -oh. going in for the oh five H combo. Going in for that. Dust loop into the tire green! Awesome power, look at that. Look at all that redness. Ooh, yeah, going in for the DP. All right, this right here. This is match Ooh, point, let up you have for Diaphone. So Strip Chicken has a chance to stay alive right now. Yeah, all right, gonna go in. Oh! Looks like, uh, looks like he's trying to set up for reset. something. Oh, oh, going in no. with that super, baby! <laughs> I don't know what wow. they pressed, but there we go. Diaphone is gonna take it 3-0 over Shripped Chicken. You got connection loss? Yeah, I Odie, did. Odie has a stream up in Discord, don't worry. All right. 
Okay, now, this is a match we've seen plenty of times before. Let's see how things get started. I'm honestly loving all the Leo gameplay, but I'm also a fan of Kai. Yeah. Especially Kai's that don't just sit there and, like, do nothing most of the game. Lots of movement. You gotta, you gotta. Oh, no, but gets caught with the aerial stun edge right there. That was a big counter hit. Didn't lead to a whole lot of damage now. I look at it though. No, let's see. Breaking the wall. There we go. Okay. Definitely a little bit of uh, back and forth here between Haite and Petra. Yeah. One thing right bit... now is that you really don't want to be giving Kai any kind of meter as you just saw ZP into RC to take the first round right there. Good stuff coming from Hayate. Yeah. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Going in for the a little bit of right now. A lot of footsies indeed. They're, de they're both definitely playing a very, um, you know, pop, but very strong neutral game, I'll say at least. Wow, that 2D yet again. What a good button. Man. So now you gotta block this. Can't block a grab, homie. Oh, I had no idea which side he was on. I don't I think he was inside of the character model. I don't think he was on left or right. He was in the middle. <laughs> oh yeah. Going in for that DP, gonna break the wall. Oh. He has the meter to cancel it, make it safe, but gets Ooh. DP. Going in for Ooh. that throw clash. Oh, oh burst and right out. There. Well, they just keep. They just keep trading. And Petrify is fighting for his life right now. Yeah, look at that risk gauge. It is doing. building. Oh, that could be it right there, but no. No. Oh, a little bit of projectiles. Wow. Oh, calling out that mix with the grab. Oh, you hate to see it. Yeah, that's a very good counter right there versus Leo Berserker Slash. But man, that was that was a that was a very hard fought um, victory on that single round right there for Hayate. Like it, I mean, Petrified lost that, but they were fighting tooth and nail to stay alive right there. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Did you manage to get back in? Um, I I did not. So for some reason, Petra is showing up as. It as an invisible I, I don't I don't know what's going on. He's showing up as an invisible character on the stream. The tribe lobbies have been acting acting up recently, yeah, so Yeah, it's uh, it's, uh, it's not it, it, you know Dice Gate's vision and all that, you know. Who well, maybe maybe it is <laughs> Yeah it comes out two months from now uh, with the new and improved lobbies to make everybody happy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm hoping for that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait. Looks like uh, got a nice uh. Ooh, that whip grab. Pulling out that whip grab into the CT. Oh, bursting out of it though. They're gonna force out. Now that is one thing that Kai has over Leo. Can do the aerial projectiles right there with the stun edge, and yeah. it, it's gonna beat out. It's gonna beat out most of Leo's projectiles. So that's pretty good. Oh yeah, it absolutely would. Let's see what we got going yeah, on. is working on uh, <laughs> trying to get on the board right now, taking that first round in game number two. Looks like Hayate is a character, a player that you do not want to let get comfortable. Yeah, no, Hay Hayate is definitely not letting it easy. You know, keep throwing down. Oh, that strike throw. Ending that round, they're going to go into a dual three situation. Left, right, left, right. Yes, indeed. Good neutral oh, going right here. Gonna get sweep. tossed in the corner. Now hold this. Holding it indeed. Going in for that DP. Holding it in the air. Oh! Thunder to beat out the 2D right there. Gonna win in the air to air exchange. Wow. This man Ooh. came up here with this blockchain. With great power comes great responsibility. You finna hold all this electricity. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> gonna go in for those aerials. Oh, the advancing 2D. Gonna keep it going, keep it rolling, right? Gonna see um, where, you know, gonna Red RC keep it safe for a little bit longer. But Look, and that, that was so smart of Hayate right there. I said, you know what? I don't have to do anything crazy. I have the life lead. Let me sit back and wait for you to do something that I can just grab and finish this very easily, you know? Oh, yeah. 
paid off in their favor. And now they are 2-0 up against Petrified. Man, that is crazy. I thought we might see a character swap, but no, Petrified is staying, staying with the Leo now. Yeah, looks like it. Going for that Leo commit right now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if they can get the reverse 3 -0. They are now locked into Leo. They cannot change. No, no, no. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna grab the DP right there. Oh, we're gonna grab you again. Can we get can we get the three in a row? No, not right no. now. Gonna get DP. Ooh, gonna throw out that projectile. Ooh. Okay, okay, all right. Gonna keep those uh, block strings going. Let's oh, like throw into the stun edge. Oh. Okay, that was actually really good defense right there from Hayate. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, let's see. Gonna go in for the aerial stun edge. Just, just establishing space, it looks like they are both doing right now. Playing a really strong neutral game. Uh, going yeah. for that 6P. Ooh. Oh like Petrified's gonna win out on that um spacing game right there. Let's yeah. see if they can manage to take this round right here and get on the board finally. Oh, goes for the cross. Oh man, it's so it's so hard to continue that pressure when we had to start up and they just they can just DP right out of it. Oh yeah, and again going right into that advancing 2D. Yeah, Petra establishing break. the pressure, the offensive Breaking the wall right there. And, um, that's really good right there for Petrified too, because they they were they were lacking a lot of meter. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. Now you gotta hold this Oki situation. Went to a 2K back into the reset on the Oki pressure. Oh yeah. They, they're both thinking about what they want to do next. Unfortunately, I I is gonna clip Petrified. That is going to be very close to being it. Let's see if Petrify can weasel the way out of this. Looks like Ooh. they're going to be able to. Can they finish oh, before the first comes burst. back? No! Oh! Catching with that aerial stun. It's very clever. Man, that's, look, I was just talking about that earlier, right? <laughs> yeah, that, listen, that, that's the edge. It is yeah. the edge. And you know oh, what? It looks like, looks like Hayate. Right Ayate is making good use of it just to turn the tide of this match. Gonna go in for the low, so Petra slapping back with that grab. Punish. Uh -oh. I'm catching up right here a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, nice slide in 2K right there. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that was, that confirm was fantastic. Got the hit, went right into the, into the, into the RC. Yeah, let's see. Uh oh, that might be it though. Can the burst save? It will. Oh no, the burst. Burst oh, coming the aerial in to save the, the day for Dipper. Hayate, and that is gonna be a wall break and a match going over to Hayate right there, taking it 3-0 over Petrified. Yeah. Damn, this is a rematch from last night, is it not? It is. It is. Yeah. It is indeed. Let's see here. Yeah. And I think last night, I think Blue Heck actually took it over Shadow last night in the yeah. cookout. So this yeah, is actually, so, yeah. So it looks like, uh, looks like uh, definitely Chetto will be uh, on the edge. Or rather, Blue Heck. Yeah, Blue Heck is coming on from the victory of last night. Um, I think it took third place. Yeah, it took third place at the cookout. And um, Shadow took fourth place. So you know who won that exchange. So Shadow's definitely going to be out for blood right now, wanting vengeance. Oh, yeah. So she's going for that aerial. Oh, calling out the projectile. The stun edge. Again, very strong neutral being played right now. Ooh. Oh, that was a nice neutral jump right there. Yes. Oh, look at that grab. That call out. Very solid. Going, going to go for the for sacred that... edge right there. Oh, oh, oh no. right into a DP. All right, all right, all right. Going in for that DP. Uh-oh. Yo, what are they doing in this corner, yo? Honestly, <laughs> I mean, it's... I mean, again, very, very impressive defense shown by uh, Shadow right now. The movement sure. and defense is just... It's, 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 it's next fantastic level. in there. It's yeah. next level, yeah. 
to keep out with this, with this hedges. Uh oh, okay. gotta be careful right there. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Yeah, throwing down. Let's see, gonna go. Oh, the red RC. Oh, the footies. The footies. Yeah, I think. I'm not sure what button that blue heck was going for right now, but man, man, <laughs> that's crazy. All right, and Shadow is going to take game number one right there. Um, I guess that, why do we have like three people in here right now with horse heads? I just noticed that. Anyways, Wait, what? Oh, it, oh yeah, it. yeah. I mean, that's that's <laughs> me. Horse head brigade. Yeah. Oh my god, you, Shadow, and Blue Heck all have it's horse like, heads. It's like it's it's optimal. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's absolutely optimal. I promise yo, you, Loopy. Yo, I will say this real quick, yo. So I, I, I want to apologize to y'all. Y'all did, y'all did just claim a shit ton of clothes. We only got two codes left. Two codes? <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, yeah y'all. Two they, people they, they, in they, chat. They Let's zero job, that out. Though. Let's zero job, it out, baby. Say, it wasn't. It was at fourteen. And now we got two codes left, and I gotta say, y'all. I don't. Y'all. Y'all did that. Good job. That's all yeah. I can say. All right. Woo. Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep refreshing that page. Let's see here. Uh, we got two. Yeah, it says two. Yep, two calls left, guys. There are two people in chat. There are two people. They are. Oh yeah, this two is a fantastic. Chat. Two people Yo, out of like shirt. 120. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. We got two people. They can go get these codes. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh. What'd you say? Oh no, no. I I just I just saw uh, the Discord. I think uh, there was a little technical whoopsies. Someone oh, is stuck fun. on floor. Interesting. No, that, we got it. They good. We're just waiting for them to pick themselves up. You know, every now and then people gotta, you know, you know, you slip, so you be slipping and falling, and you can't get up. But Mankind. they eventually get up. Duel one. <laughs> Let's rock. Oh, going into the projectile. Let's see. Okay, right, so it looks right. like Blue Hack is trying to stay on the offense right now. Of course, Shadow definitely wants to get started. Oh, neutral jump into JH is gonna be what they need to get started. Okay, no burst on the table for Blue Heck now. Ooh, going in for those aerials in the corner. Let's see. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't get spinal tapped right there. Oh my goodness. How many six feet is Shadow gonna throw out trying to bait out somebody in the corner? Oh, gonna take the corner back from Blue Heck right there. Don't get hit by none of this, Blue Hack. Oh, you got hit by it. <laughs> All right, I love the micro dash. That advancing. Oh, the double aerials in the corner I going in no, for the practice. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Ooh, close. Ooh, the I thought end. she was going to fall on that sacred edge. You're going to get blessed by it. All right, Shadow is going to take the first round right there. Blue Heck, you, you really don't want to put Shadow in a 2-0 lead right now. No, going in for that sweep into the back stance. Let's see. Gonna watch them legs. Going in for the red RC. Oh, trying to get the burst bait right there. But Blue Heck not falling for it. You might see it now, though. Ooh, the grab. Well, not oh, if Shadow boy. doesn't let him. Yeah, no. All right. The oh helicopter. Oh, bursting out the <laughs> helicopter, though. Oh, the six P in the air. It never <laughs> is, fails to catch me off guard. This is a little. This is a little crazy. This is just a little bit crazy, Loopy. <laughs> Look, we got the Shadow copy pastas right now. Somebody read it. Somebody read. You want, you want me to read? Wait, whoa, whoa. You don't okay, see that? I'm telling you, Cheto is as cracked as he is Jack. I saw him at a 7-Eleven at the other day buying mon monster and adult diapers. I asked him what diapers were for, and he said they contain the mindful power, so I don't completely shit on these kids. And they rode a boar out in the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, oh, my I was gosh. Gonna read it. I was going to read it. I was going to read it, homie. <laughs> oh my gosh. It says Shadow has won both tournaments he has entered the last two nights. Yo, right. Shadow, Shadow be kind of goaded though. That's all I'm Shadow saying. Very goaded. All right, all right. Starting I mean, out I'm, the projectiles to get those range I'm not, going. I'm not going to cut out on the uh, on the Shadow. Shadow, my homie. <laughs> He's fantastic. 
But I will say, Shadow is really trying to prove himself from last night at the cookout. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> Blue Heck did put a stop to it last night, Nick Yeah, these, <laughs> these, are, these are two very strong contenders of the cookout. They were both hella cooking, and they still are hella cooking. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the rematch, though, because Shadow, Shadow got knocked out by Blue Heck. Yeah. Shadow also won back for Brawl last night. Yo, for real. Shadow, Shadow just collecting those Ws. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Yeah, go Shadow winning the... cookout. <laughs> you mean you missed cookout, Nick? Blasphemy. Oh, oh no. no! Give me that burst. Got a pocket full of bursts. <laughs> Got a pocket full of bursts, indeed. Oh, going for that Pooja arc, but didn't call it out. Very interesting. Right, good back dash okay. right there. Oh, oh my goodness. How does Shadow oh, know? Into the back stance. Oh. The overhead. Oh, just All trying right. to, just knocking on the door, but Shadow says, go away. <laughs> I'm not home. And here All we right. go. Yeah. All right. Shadow, look, Shadow did not like what happened last night. 3-0. Clap back. <laughs> the, over grudge, right now. the grudge was carrying yeah. him. Yeah. Dual one. Dual one. Huh. All right. All right. Yeah. Look, if Honor Owen gets started, it's going to be very hard for CPU to deal with. It looks like that's what's kind of happening right now. Yeah. Going in for those low sweeps into the wall break there. Yep. I'm definitely going to build a quick bar of meter right now. And you don't want that because stuff like this can happen to you where you're back in the corner yet again. Yeah. All right. Going to go in. Uh, throwing out the items. Throwing out the banana. Throwing out the hammers. Getting in the little mini falls. The CPU ready to go in now. But uh-oh. Oh, going in I, for that run up. Ooh. I doubt CPU uses burst here. Definitely not. No, no, they are they are saving it for later. Definitely. All right, gonna go in for those aerials into the low sweep here. Yeah. And look, it was a it was a very small like chip away, no pun intended, um, that that just happened with CPU. But just slowly by slowly, Under Ogre was able to chip that life bar away. Uh oh, we got the hair throw. The Ooh, bottle. The spicy, spicy here indeed. Going Ooh. in for the mini fouls. Gonna throw down the items. Throw down that pressure. Oh, look at that. Okay, oh, going look, in for the low. Ogre coming right back. And look, Chip is so look. Honor Ogre is so used to playing with not a lick of health that it didn't really matter to them. And that burst right there actually was a very good tool for uh, CPU. Allowed them to start throwing out more some items and you know cause a little RNG to help them. Yeah. Oh, throwing in that burst. Let's see here. No burst on the table now, and I don't think anyone's gonna be able to get a burst back in this game right here. Going in for that counter hit. Couldn't get a combo off of it though. Um, oh, oh, gonna get the back though right now. And gonna take the corner because of it. Throwing out the bomb. You gotta watch out for the bomb. Watch out for the bomb on a roger. Oh. Uh oh. Mini Faust is still down thing. there. Wow, he actually managed to trigger Mini Faust and still jump away from him. I cannot believe that that was, that was possible. But look like CPU is actually gonna be the first person to take a, a game. A game. This during this game. match right now. And yeah. predictions are up, everybody. So, we got, so we got who do you think is going to yeah. take it? Throw down, throw down, throw down your points. Throw down your points right now. Let's see. I'll, I'll throw in my predictions. I'll, I'll make I'll make my bias known through my <laughs> through my points. Just like you know, we did last night. It's been a while since I made a prediction. But you oh. know what? I'll, I'll make a prediction real quick. You know why, why not? I'm not, oh, not going to tell you who I'm predicting for either. I'm not going to tell you. Mankind needs. You know what? <laughs> I threw I threw down. I threw down. A lot of CPU love. 74% CPU, 26% honored over yeah. right now. Look, when CPU gets that download, just like that um that graphic driver you, you hit us with early. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, alright. Irresponsible. Ooh, bird double. Yeah. Bird double. Listen, test your luck. We, you, you can test your luck with irresponsible betting tonight. Going in for those predictions. Right. Irresponsible betting, huh? 
Oh, is there gonna be a burst? No, we're gonna we're gonna take that burst over to the next round. Look, bursts are important. Bursts are important. You can't just throw them away like that. Yeah. Oh, going in for the clash of key. I'm going for a low sweep. Ooh, going over the overhead. Oh. You gotta be careful with that clone. If I recall, I think you took like double damage on the clone or something like that. I uh, I don't know. I have I, I, have I, I forgot. Somebody said something about it. Much. Yeah. It's not irresponsible if you are right. You know what? That is so true. That's so it, true. One one might say that it's actually responsible too bad. <laughs> it's an obligation. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. Gonna break the wall with that super. Oh, the yellow RC CPU yeah, dropping down that CPU pressure. Blocked the cross up too. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I guess they predicted it. Oh my god, these two P's oh god, right here. The sweep! Wait, this is a 6K? Yo, Ogre, you're crazy. Oh my god, it's so tight, it's so tight! Let's see, Honored Ogre, can you skies. get a land, a hit in there? Oh! Oh no, the mix, mix, oh no. mix. Oh, it's Gave a him a banana! The <laughs> item wow. RNG working against CPU! Okay, yeah. going to dual three, though, it's not the end of this game just yet. All right. Dropping right. the hammer. Oh, oh sniped out from the sky. Does not get the full combo right there. Unfortunately. All right. Going for the jab into the mix, mix, mix. Oh no, look at that movie. I do think there's going to be a burst coming out soon. There it is. Yellow RC going to keep that pressure going. Oh my goodness, oh. the CPU doing a hell of a job right now. Just keeping Honored Ogre out. Man, that's crazy. But yeah, that banana incident was actually pretty... Um, Pretty bad for CPU. Yeah, uh, it was pretty round. pretty brutal indeed, yeah. honestly. <laughs> What's funny is that Chip was very close to dying, and the mix, mix, mix actually pushed Chip into the banana, which gave him health. <laughs> Funnily enough, <laughs> And then enough, tripped yeah. up Faust. So, <laughs> crazy. Crazy stuff indeed. Mm -hmm. But here we are. We're going to go into the next Dual game here. Yep, like, and this uh, could be the final game right here. As CPU is up 2-0 right now over Honored Ogre. But Ogre is, is, he might be down, but he's not out. No, he's not out at all. Oh, calling it out with that, uh, I don't know if that's a grab. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, no. So many spiked objects sniping Honored Ogre out of the sky. Ooh, let's see. He's trying to go for that mix, but going for the PRC to try to keep it safe. Okay. Nice Ooh, alpha blade. Right there. Double alpha blade into lots of blades. Over with gamma blade. All the blades. Dual two. All right, Hunter Ogre trying to get on the board right now. Get six feet out of the sky. Ooh, throwing in the anvil. Bonk, bonk the bomb. Watch out for it. Watch out for oh, it. Oh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> Hot potato. The items okay. have not been working in CPU's favor that much. No, these no. Two, these Listen, last you, gotta, games. you just gotta work with that RNG, you know? You're like, all right, they gave me a banana, I gotta work with the banana. If they gave me a bomb, I'm gonna work with the bomb. Yeah. Just gotta work with those options, but it looks like Otter Ogre trying to throw down a combo. It's gonna backdash right there on the far slide. The counter hit. Gamma Blade. Alpha this should blade. be a wall break right here. It's gonna be a while before they get a get a stick of meter though. Yeah. In the meantime, CPU is doing a very good job of keeping them out in that bay. And there it is, right there. Gonna be heading into match point right now. Can Ogre stop CPU? Let's see. Let's see. What I'm a sure everyone, situation. everyone who's betting their channel points on Honor Ogre are probably sweating. But it looks like Honor Ogre going in for that low sweep right now. A 6 age Gonna allow a few items to pop out for CPU. Ooh, but Ogre does not care. Ooh, I wouldn't no. care about that though. That the grab, snack though. Time. Ooh, the Sriracha keeping it Ooh. spicy. Calling out that first bait into the jungle and That's finishing off with a super. That's overkill CPU. right there. Showing Lapping that I have it. no mercy against no Honor mercy. Ogre. Hello, Shriver. 
looking at the SQ name. I don't know what. I don't know. Oh my Let's god, he's got the wand. Ooh. Ooh, okay, alright. Going in for the blades. The blades in the corner. SQ oh no, does not the get the 6 H right there to finish it off. Yes, okay, alright. Yeah, SQ starting off very fast right now. And very this looks strong, like very this round Wait, is over. Oh, it's gonna kill. That is Look, gonna, I'm not even gonna is, ask yeah. if it's gonna kill, because that super is ridiculous throw, on the wall. Throw down the laser beams, like, whoo! Yeah, and with that ending, everybody, Glaw has just stated that the predictions are up. They are up and ready. Up and ready indeed, let's see. I have no idea what Ram Song is saying. S you or MSCR. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of MSCR bias in chat here. You think so? Oh, 61% MSCR in fact. Every everyone putting all their beans in for MSCR right now. <laughs> That's why SQ definitely throwing down a very heavy offensive right now. Guys, don't forget to predict before it's too late. You got a minute left. Yeah, Looks minute like SQ left is going to take the first game. Oh, 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 people are throwing their points on SQ now. Uh oh. Yeah, no one, no one knows. 149. No one knows. Oh, Look, no. It's, it's so funny. 66, how, 34. How swayed you guys like they are. Saw, they saw that match and they were like, nah, nah, nah. You guys nah. are so swayed people by that first People getting scared. Victory. You know what? Okay, now it's 50 50. That's what I'm talking about. Put some respect back on MFCR's name. They, they're both fantastic, but just because they lost one game don't mean it's over with, guys. It ain't, it ain't, over, yet. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. Y'all are crazy, man. Listen, you got crazy. those game fives. You got those sweeps. You got those. <laughs> exactly. It can go any way. You guys never know. Tiger, Tiger Pop says 2K on MF can't read. Can't read? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, is that, is that 2K points that, that, that MFCR can't read? Or is the, that... on, yeah, on MF can't read. <laughs> People oh, talking smack in chat. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Y'all not real believers. So true. Oh my god, with this Shaquille O'Neal six H's right there, I don't know. It can go either way. Ooh, more tomato in the corner. Gonna get the wall break. Yeah. All right, going in for the PR2. Gonna maintain that momentum. Going in for the blade. This SQ Ram corner pressure, how do you get out of it? What do you do? Is it just game over? Somebody give me know. an explanation. Ooh, going in for that neutral counter hit. Gonna go in for that pressure in the corner again. Uh oh, tries to back dash the, the sword explosion and gets caught by it. This is a lot of meter the oh, Ram the has. Oh, on the wake up. Uh, and that's gonna be another Game heading over into SQ's pocket. Oh, Can no. MFCR manage to come back from this? It's gonna have to be a 3 0 victory over SQ. Gonna be very tough. SQ is very goaded indeed. Ember, what do you think is gonna happen? I mean, I I, I want to see. I'm I'm hoping to see an adjustment in NFCR's game plan for this next one. Maybe because mm -hmm. maybe 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 the MF is still reading. You know what I mean? You think so? You, well, my thing here so. is that I think so. We if Ram if Ram wins like the round start, it's very tough, you know, like to, to get yeah. start. Because what happened right there in most of those games, SQ just managed to get the first hit, gets the, you know, starts to, you know, prod and see what's happening, and gets the hit, and then once you get that wall break and you get that meter, oh, it's yeah. all over. It's it's all over indeed. I mean, I mean that's the thing with Ram is that when she gets you in a corner. You know, you can you can you can do these like infinite moves oh with her. Goodness. You'll see that with SQ, you know, applying like really heavy pressure on the corner, really hard to to get out of it. The only thing you can really do is FD, and that is if you have meter. So uh, there's definitely a huge challenge for MFCR to overcome in this situation. Yeah, but, but let's they're trying to overcome it right now, but not by getting snatched up by SQ right there. And gonna be going through the wall right here, and that's gonna be the round putting at you on match point two. MCR, you're gonna have to do something if you want to stay in this. All right. This is not. In. This is a loser side though, guys. Just want to bring that out. Yeah. No matter who loses, still has a chance. 
That means one of these one of these demons will end up in in losers bracket. Yeah, I feel bad for y'all down there in the last portion. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice little onslaught right there. MSCR managing to stay alive even if just for a little bit longer. Just I believe in you. Longer. I believe though. Oh no, bridging it with that Rekka going in for the counter hit in the corner, throwing down the sword, the explosive swords. Oh, the Mortal Basso though. Yeah, Look things are not spelling real right now for MFCR. That life lead on SQ side is quite high. Very high indeed. Let's see, gonna go in. Oh, going in for the grab into the back stance. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. And that's gonna even things up quite a bit. And gonna give MFCR okay, okay, just okay. a good amount of, of meter remember, gain. SQ does have a lot of meter on deck, so, you know, she could pop out Now they out both a... have quite a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, MSCR, yeah, got the positive bonus. Unfortunately, on. those burstless combos into uh, Kamado, and that's gonna be it. I'm not even gonna say, I'm not even gonna say that it, it's not a, there's no way he was gonna live through that. That super is ridiculous. This, this, yeah. this can't be pre-top eight, right? <laughs> we definitely oh, no. made it to top eight. Because oh, no. Razzle versus Diaphone, ain't no way. What's going on? <laughs> We are just getting started. The excitement is just getting started right now. Going in. Oh, whipping that. Um, the six. Honestly, these mid screen footsies right here, just, you know, very distance right now. And Razzle's just waiting for their chance. Uh oh. This uh -oh. might be it right here. Rifle's gonna go for the burst. Runs right into the projectiles, though. Trying to challenge it. Wow, JK from Razzo to stop the movement coming from Diaphone right there. Oh my yeah. God, I blinked and that was an overhead. All that right, going crazy. in for the butt bounce into the yo-yo attack in the corner, breaking the wall. Let's see. Russ has got a little bit of help. Predictions are up, everybody. Producers Woo. are up if you want to predict. Who do you think is going to take it? This was going to be extremely hard. I'm all out of points, Luffy. <laughs> You're out of points? I'm out of points. <laughs> I can bet wrong for you. Who do you, you want to bet on? <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm going to reveal my bias. I mean, obviously, it's Razzo. Everyone knows I'm a big Razzo, Razzo fan. Yeah, I'm a huge so, Razzo fan. I'm, you guys I'm not even here. subtle. You yeah. guys heard it here. If I put points on Razzo, I'm not the one that's biased. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh, and looks like Razzle's gonna take that second round. All right. Duel three. Let's rock. All right, we're going to duel three situation. Oh, starting off with the. Uh, let's see here. His iPhone applying that pressure in the corner. Let's see. Razzle's kind of very much on the defensive right now. Gonna have to block all of this. Finally, Diaphone managed to squeeze out that burst that Razzle had lingering over there. Yeah, look at that counter hit combo into the corner. Kickstart your heart into that super. Ooh, baby. Breaking the wall. Yeah, gonna get some meter. Well needed meter, too. And this is gonna be it. Looks like Diaphone is gonna take game number one. All right. Ooh, okay, yep. all right. You, you got me losing. You gonna have me losing my points, huh? Well, that yeah, kind of do. I mean, I mean, yeah, nah. listen, listen, listen. I, I always vouch for Razzo. You know, I mean, nah, no commentator bias. So no, there's no commentator <laughs> bias here at all, guys. I promise. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not wearing my Go Razzo hat right now. Oh my God, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I there's always, no hat. There's no hat you know, that's like, no. yeah. that's like poorly, poorly positioned on your head. <laughs> there's no way. If there's a hat poorly positioned on your head right now. Oh no, Dipho, what are you trying to grab? Let's gonna get caught lacking. Right. Right. Lacking indeed, bursting out of that. Let's see. Going in for that overhead. Into kickstart your heart. Gonna go in for the yo-yo combo. Gonna get the burst out of Razzle yet again in the corner. Now Razzle might be going through the wall. They surely are with the super. Boom. That teddy bear. What is that teddy bear made of? <laughs> First and in the five Ruby. Round. There it is. Dual two. Okay, let's see how round starts gonna go off. Kind of reserved. 
Oh no! Yeah, a it. blast it's from the past right there. I forgot the yo-yo was even out him. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Definitely a lot of juggling going around. Uh, Rafa trying to keep some space with those projectiles. Going in oh, for the jab. Oh, five feet anti-air right there. Yeah, and, and going with the uh, red RC to continue the momentum. Really good move. Yeah, I'm not sure if they were trying to go for that JS right there to get the wall break. But hey, it worked. It got the wall break. Alright. Going in for the low sweep. Oh, okay. Now watch out for a DP. Psych Rider's just gonna run up and get you with some uh, some some good CQC pressure. And that should be enough to take Oh no! Oh no indeed, let's see. Oh, going uh -oh. for the counter hit. Kickstart your phone ain't playing no games! <gasps> that is definitely gonna be enough right there. Just to make sure RC into the butt slam. Oh my gosh. That's gonna be 2 0 right now for Diaphol going up over Razzo, which is no easy thing to do, Ember. Yeah. Not easy yeah, at no, all. No easy thing at all. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we're, so I guess, I guess Typhoon going 2 over Razzo right now. Um, we'll see, we'll see if, if uh, she has a game plan to adjust here with, with uh, Leo. Oh, real quick. We at $109.21 right now. Who just hey, blessed this hey, match, what? Arena? Hey, Yo, hey, Young what? L's. Young L's. Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Thank Homie. You. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing Appreciate it down it. in the pot. Loving the pot tonight. Yeah, bless, blessing that pot. All right. Let's see how things are going right now. Razzo, going to have to get a 3-0 over Diaphone right now. Like it is it is doable. I will say that. It's gonna be tough though. Yeah, going in oh, for that up. grab. Let's see. Gonna keep the momentum going. Look at oh that. My oh god. The kickstart your heart. Ooh, ooh. The, the things that Brisket is doing with these yo-yos. It's illegal. Illegal. Yo yo's are gonna be illegal in like in like forty different states after this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean listen. Listen, that that yo-yo mix game keeps everyone on yeah. defensive. Y'all said Leo needs to get buffed. Is that what y'all said? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Look, we, so we need to nerf Bridget. That's what we need to do. <laughs> we need more Leos in top eight. Oh my goodness, we've seen like four Leos tonight. All Leos. <laughs> Oops, all Leos. Look at this pressure right here now, though. Yeah, honestly, she's uh, really keeping it up. Oh! Yeah, managed to escape right there with the DP. Setting yeah. neutral back up. Uh-oh. Both burst on the table right now. Razzle might be about to utilize there soon. Oh, no, going in for that mix. Ooh, calling out the burst Never into mind. the grab. Yep, Razzle's going to take that round right there. Steal match point for Diaphone. We're gonna call it um stay alive point for Razzo. They cannot manage to lose this. Oh, it looks like yeah. they understand that wholeheartedly if they continue this onslaught against Diaphone in the corner over here. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see going in for that advancing attack. Gonna go in for the juggle. Oh look at that going into back stance. I cannot Boom, lose. Boom crash baby. Okay, let's see the health advantage Ooh. on Razzo's side here. But wait, she, she scooted right into them ankles though. Oh, okay, this is definitely Razzo's game yeah. right now. Staying alive. <laughs> there we go. All right. Razzo's well, not going to make this Razzo. easy for Diaphone. Okay. All right. All right. 2-1. Mm -hmm. Still in Diaphone's favor, but Razzo clapping back. Not quite, you know, conceding to the 3-0 sweep. Definitely. Not, look, it's Diaphone. You've, you've, you're on the cusp of victory right now. But Rezo's not going to let this be a walk in the park. You're going to have to work for this. Yes, yes. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, where's where's the Razzo love in chat? We got Razzo, Razzo love. love in chat? Diaphone love. I know, I, know these, I know both of these players have great communities. Room for them. Yes. Okay, going in for the... Let's see. Uh-oh. This, Ooh, this keep fun. away? The Diaphone's playing right now can be very good for them. No burst on the table right now. Wow. See, see, I wasn't I wasn't sure if the yo-yo was the one that's actually going in or coming out. It looks like it was the one coming coming out. No, yes, yes, going in for that 5D. Ooh, look at that. Oh, safe jump, but RC's 
Okay, Ooh. going in for the lows. All right, going to keep that mix going. Into the super. And that's it. Yep, confirming to the super is going to guarantee the victory on that game right there. Razo continuing to win this right now. Has the download, has the download, like, you know, taken effect? I think. Whoa! Quite possibly, yes. Look at this advantage that Razo's going in right now. Trying to keep Siphone mixed here. Looks like there was a slight change in uh, in her game plan. It seems to be working. Oh. It might be the case. It might be the case. Let's see here. Xiphone. Oh, oh no! Get smacked to the corner. The grab. Okay, going in for the projectiles. All right. Incident. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Oh, these all little right. these little these little skirt skirts are looking pretty good. Oh my sure. goodness. Oh! Start my heart gonna go in for that jungle in the quarter. Going into oh, a game baby. five, everybody. A game five. This is a game Ooh. five scenario. All right, if you Razzle put points on Razzo, your points are still safe right now. So, so what? What, what did you position. say? What did you? Mm -hmm. So what? What? What did you say, Loopy, when you said you were gonna be what, that was gonna be losing you some points? Huh? I, I said uh, I said uh -huh. that that might have been a sound decision for you to tell me to put my points on Razzo. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Odie? Um, Ember's not wearing a hat. <laughs> uh, where can I get one of those hats, Ember? Um, it's a uh, it's special order. <laughs> special order. It still got the tag order. on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got yeah, I got the the the, um, the in, it's an Intel uh, logo. Right? Um, <laughs> Intel. Oh, it's Intel. <laughs> yeah, yes. <yeah, it's laughs> oh my god. I don't know what he just said, but you're going through the wall, Diaphone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And this is this oh, is the match no. point game. So, uh, stakes are high on both sides here. Now. Yep. Now, finally, Razzo has reversed things. Match point Razzo now. Can Diaphone yeah. manage to bring this at least to a game five final round? Let's see. Yeah, oh, let's see. Blocking everything right now. Oh, gets caught by the overhead bear drop. Uh-oh, 6P, get out of my skies. Out of the sky, indeed. Let's see, going for that jungle into the corner. Oh, baby, gonna go for the bear. Oh, oh no! It's not enough. Oh, the throw clash. Oh, my God. Who could have seen that coming? Wow. The yo-yo manages to keep things alive right there, and I think this will be a wall break. Oh, so no. It's not gonna be enough. The could not... The stakes, Loopy, they're so high. Oh, wow. Safely takes it. Dual <laughs> All three, right, everybody. Five scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see okay. what's going to occur right here. Anything yeah, can happen. No birth on Diaphone side now. Oh, going for the six. No okay. burst available on anyone side. Uh-oh, just caught out in a bad spot right there. Diaphone gonna go for the RC council right there. Gonna continue this this onslaught right now with this combo. Trying to take the corner. Razzo being oh, very yeah. patient. Very patient indeed. Throwing down that corner pressure. Oh no, going for that juggle! Oh the overhead! Right but it's not enough! It's not enough! There's a little bit of health left for Diaphone! There's One still a situation chance for left Razzo. For him. Going for the purple RC! Oh wow! XP. Stop short of the oh, 6 feet right goodness. there! Loopy, I'm at the edge of my seat, going with the ping. You don't oh! have to anymore. Razzle's gonna take it with a counter. Razzle right claps. There. Oh man. Razzle claps. Woo. Right. Oh, wow. You guys have seen this matchup before. We got Happy Chaos versus Leo, and looks like Sheto's gonna win the round start right now. Gonna start this pressure off in the corner. Oh, yeah. Just don't let Umisho get started. Oh, and looks like you did. Now things can get ugly potentially. Alright, going oh. in. Oh no, catching that burst, that's gonna hurt. Nope, actually He's decides going. to go for the reset right there. Jumps Ooh. over the bull that is Chateau right there, gonna apply the snot bubble and start shooting. Going for the Glockies. Oh, let's see. Oh, uh -oh. going in for Chateau that counter hit. Chateau the bullets. What is this, the Matrix? I do not know. Yeah, going in for those shots. Dual two. 
Oh, going in for the lows, into the gun. Once again, going back into the gun to keep that pressure going with the focus shot. Let's see, going in with the corner. Look at that oh pressure goodness. with the... You will with... never, you will never get to play again. Oh, DP! You really wanted to press buttons. Now I'm going to cash out on all of that risk I just put you into. Look at that... all that damage. Yeah, look too. at that damage. What you gonna do? Like you're you're just slowly setting yourself up so to listen, get killed if you Cheto, block. Cheto got Umi Show in the corner right now. Not the ideal place for having chaos uh, to be in. You know, not having a reversal on deck. You gotta neutral your way out of there. Ooh! He's gonna get tossed into the corner, and that's gonna be game one going over to Umi Show. I mean, like you said, all that damage that, that got cashed out from that risk meter after all the blocking, sometimes it makes you wonder, should I just, like, stop blocking Happy Chaos? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, guys, predictions are up. You can decide on who you think's gonna take it. Yeah. Unless you have no points, like Ember. I got, I got, wait, actually, no, I got 90 now. There you go. You can put, like, 10 on something. You never know. You <laughs> might hit it big. I might, I might get it big. I might get it big. Right now, it's 95% Umi Show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even in this matchup, I feel like Umi Show is just kind of favored to take it. But yeah. it's still a very... I mean, if, 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 if Leo gets started, then things could go their way. But Shadow's going to have to get the first hit. Kind of. Yeah. And it looks like uh, looks like she is applying pressure in the corner. Oh, back uh, backstepping out of it. Very good move by Cheto uh, to go into the, into uh, the offense, switching to the offense, going into the back stance. Oh, oh catching that first fade. Oh no! You hate to see it, movie. Yeah, you really do. Like some, something something's gotta happen though. Yeah. Somebody has to lose. Somebody's life bar has to hit zero. We're, we're never gonna see that clock hit zero. So somebody's life bar has to go first. Yeah, indeed. Going for the mix into the sweep. Let's see what goes on. Ooh, whipping that grab into the pistol. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, there we go. We're gonna correct that whip grab with another. Ooh, a very well timed 2P into RC right there. Yeah, and once again, actions to do that. going in for that super, you want to reload on those resources, and that is exactly what Misho did, but also finished out the round. Yep, and Misho is going to take that 2-0 right now, going to put Cheto into a very undesirable situation. Of, um, the, of the possibility of the 3-0 sweep. Yes, it's going to be very uh, tough, very hard. It is doable, but it's very hard. That was that was not PRC. That was, OS. That was not I PRC. Just I just baited burst. Oh, yeah. I think okay. I think somebody in chat thought they had the tech. <laughs> Dual one. <laughs> Can we show who would you play if Happy Chaos was removed? That is a question. <laughs> the smell right. of the game. <laughs> smell of the game. Play dice game. <laughs> yeah, right. Going in for that super breaking the wall. There you go. Taking Ooh. away most of her health. Going in for the five D. Yeah. I would definitely not go for a burst here. That would be me show. But might not have to. Shadow okay. might not even Okay, there we go. I was gonna say Shadow might not get a chance. Again. Yeah, and then and again we're going into a dual two situation here. Let's see what goes on. Going in for that sweep. Ooh, going in for the sweep once again with the with the glitch. Gotta watch some legs. The ERC catching oh, the burst. No. The golden Canadian burst. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Going in for the footies into the super. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna kill. That's gonna be a big that's gonna be a big kill, Luffy. Yep. And then to Misho. Yeah, match point in key. Let's... I might catch up a little bit. All right, going in. Dying? Uh, I think yours is. <laughs> oh, is it me? Is. Yeah, yeah, your mic's cutting out. Uh oh. Uh, do do a quick tech check. Um, anyways, looks like uh, Umi Show uh, is going for the wall break. That is what is happening. Yes. Um, going in for the um, blue RC, trying to uh, close in on Umi Show. Uh, don't want to give her that space. Uh, Cheto 
taking a taking a moment. I guess they're I guess they're filling each other out. I don't know. Uh, some very strong. Uh... <laughs> what's going on here? Wait, what's going? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. A little bit of uh, a little bit of shenanigans. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. Hey, yo, Glock. Thanks so much for the twenty bucks going into the match, Reno. Really appreciate it. We're sitting at one forty nine. That's, that's, right now. And that and I believe that's on top of the fifty dollars starting, so it's like a total of two hundred. That is a uh, that is very uh very big. So let's see, looks like uh looks like they're both just kind of uh playing some neutral game right now. See see you really wants to just sit back and throw items. Watch gonna go right into items. Items? See? Items. Told you. Items. That's Listen, a weakness. Make right it there. happen. You know, especially yeah, especially those meteors. So there's no reason to mess up the formula if you got a good one already. And now Neubenheimer is going to have that high blood the CPU now. Ooh, CPU going into the PRC. Ooh, into the corner with the super baby. All right, I think this might be enough to kill, I'm not sure. Yes, <laughs> I never saw Nago's face from that super. Oh my god, I love how the mask just like... <laughs> Oh yeah, the the mask pops off. It's like, <laughs> all right. Let's see. Uh... uh oh, sniped out of the sky right there. Yeah, Let looks be like going it. Going through the that wall here, but not level. careful. Oh my god, going with the. Boss oh my goodness, the CPU is ridiculous. No, they they are fascinating to watch. I will say that, at least. But Newbenheimer, oh. Newbenheimer, throwing it out with in that a super. super. Okay, it didn't do a full super, but it was, it was quite a bit of damage, actually. That's enough. Newbenheimer making it work. Yeah, Newbenheimer, Newbenheimer cooking it. Newbenheimer cooking yeah, it. Yeah, the hammer did yeah, slump soccer pop. It's crazy. Yeah, got a, got a tool three scenario. Oh, oh actually, we need did... a follow up of that. I don't, don't even ask. Yeah, that was, that was, <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was a what, what happened? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't get the golf swing on that. Golf swing and miss and whip. Throwing out that bomb, you gotta watch out. Watch out for the bomb! Oh! All right, there we go. Throwing out again. Oh no. CPU! Oh wow. <laughs> if you actually get hit by their own bomb right there. I gotta it, go listen, into it the happens. air protect. It happens sometimes. Sriracha bottle. Oh, it's not Watch snack time, buddy. Sriracha bottle. Uh oh. Let's One see. touch situation for Neubenheimer right now. Can you manage to stay alive? Oh uh -oh. no, lighting up the afro! <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's that was the best thing that could have possibly happened right there, getting the meteors with the afro applied. It's gonna the fire is gonna get gonna get put on. Man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, just like Nick is saying in chat right there, this matchup is weird for Nago. I used to hate this matchup when I used to play Nago. It's just oh, yeah? it's just tough. Yeah. And then I swapped over to Gold Lewis and now I still don't like this matchup. So I, you know I I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm making good decisions. Faust, yeah, Faust is interesting. I should just stop fighting Faust. <laughs> Dodge the matchup. <laughs> All right, let's see. Right Looks through like, a donut uh, out. Gonna get snacked on by dumbbell. Nago. Going in, gonna maintain that sword pressure. Look at all that damage! Wow. You know, remember, so this Nago is Nubenheimer you're talking about. Not only is it Nago, it's Nubenheimer. It's the it's the Nubenheimer Nago sweet. Ooh. Uh, uh. Boom, baby. Let's, let's like, oh, six you, piece slapping that sickle away. Not sickle. Scalp. It's like it's a scalpel. Yeah, it's, it's a thing. scalpel like. Here, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and now but anyways, Nubenheimer's looks like Newbenheimer took that right second there. one. Yeah, yeah, tying it one one. Mm -hmm. Man, I think when fall against uh, Nago, you should throw some um, Oniguri uh -oh. out. Wait. I don't think that's gonna happen. I just Probably got disconnected from lobby. I don't know about you. Oh, you got disconnected? No, I'm still here. Oh. What's up okay. with you shenanigans tonight? Shenanigans. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, that's. What that's supposed to be. Crap. All right. Uh, all right. I'm gonna hop in. All right. All right. Good back dash from the Shizora Yuki right there coming out of CPU. I'm yeah. gonna apply the Afro. <laughs> and I know Newbenheimer does not want to get it, but jumps right onto it and gonna get tossed Ooh, up with the that. bomb wow. and all. 
Okay. All right, CPU trying their best to stay alive right here. Yeah, does not want to get hit. Yeah, bursting out of that meeting. Not a bad idea. Yep. Lubenheimer is gonna. Oh no! Whips the five D right there. Whips it indeed. Oh, going in for that grab. Ooh. All right, into the red R. So rock the bottle. Wow, into snack time. Yeah. There we go. All right, and now CPU is one is one round away from making this a 2-0 lead. Oh, well, a 2-1 lead right now over Nuvenheimer. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, gotta be careful with those items. Blade. The Beyblade. Uh oh, that is gonna. Yeah, they're gonna have to be careful after that. Triple Fufio. Do they do you think the calculations were fine though? Yeah. All right. Going into dual three scenario. Yep, Nuvenheimer really wants to take this lead. Does not want to get put behind foul. I mean, us <laughs> CPU. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna maintain that pressure in the corner, but uh, CPU does utilize uh, that uh, faultless defense to get some space to get out. Yeah. The meter was kind of high. Nice 2P coming out of Nuvenheimer right there to stop the teleport. Uh-oh. Donuts Ooh, and... That grab. And, um, trumpets. Man. Items, items are just not on CPU side right now. Another donut for Nago. He's back to full life. Yeah. No, you okay. take it. I don't want it. <laughs> We'll have to see, we'll have to see what CPU is cooking with this, but wow. it's uh, not looking great. Oh, turning the tide, throwing out, oh, going in with that aerial poke with the man sword. Said, this man going said corner pocket. Two one. <laughs> yeah. Corner pocket. Two gotcha. one um, mm -hmm. in favor of Nubenheimer. So yeah, this is I'll, a potential match point here. JD is my favorite button on Nago. I love sniping people out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, listen, those those buttons are tricky. Like he's mm -hmm. he's got some strong anti airs, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's like it's like almost like he doesn't even really need it, right? He has two H, yeah. but no, let's let's give him something else that folks even higher in the sky. Why not? Oh yeah, why not? Why not? Indeed, let's see. Here we go right there. Nubenheimer getting started right now. Now think about it. This oh, this could yeah. potentially become match point for Nubenheimer, so CPU is gonna have to be very careful. Play like very cautiously indeed throwing down those meteors. With the afro. That oh, perfect. putting the Sriracha. Yeah, that was a perfect Fukio 4. Just enough distance to avoid the banana, but to get the trumpet earlier. So that's very good control from Mubenheimer. Yeah. All right, gonna go for those strikes. Gonna maintain that pressure. Let's see. You see how things have changed this last like game? Like there's, they're there's they're not just more. like brawling anymore. Though. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more caution. You know, a little more. Uh, definitely a lot, a lot more careful planning. Yeah, they're Especially definitely. On CPU side, I'm sure CPU is sweating just a little bit. You know, oh, definitely. More, oh, you know. gets hit by the second part of Chizori Yuki. Ooh, going in for that low sweep as well. There it is. Get some items out there. Oh. World place Beyblade right there. Gotta be careful with this bomb. Ooh, and now you're on fire. on fire. Oh, I thought they were gonna get a full combo off of that. Yeah, let's see here. Any fouls coming at ya. Alright. Uh oh. Sriracha bottle's been applied. It's gonna Ooh. catch the back dash. Oh. No! Oh PRC my god, don't with the PRC! <gasps> okay. Alright, alright. I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I'm gonna throw oh. in that. Lock. Nubenheimer still has that burst available. Ooh, okay, going in for the bombo. Oh! Not anymore, into gold burst. burst. Into the PRC. Wow. <laughs> and CPU manages to stay alive. Man, that is... That's a really crazy um round right there. There's a lot yeah. of stuff going on. And now we're going to be going into a game five... Look, only one of these guys can make it into top eight, guys. Only, only one. one of them can. Only one. There can only be so, one. But it's either going to be CPU or Nubenheimer. But you know, one of them will also be stalking the losers bracket as well. Oh yeah. So uh, 
So be on the lookout for that. CPU is actually part Belmont. I have no idea what, what that is, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I don't know what Bell, it sounds like some kind of vampire. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like we got some pressure. Oh, going in for that. The RC gonna go in for the. Ooh. They actually canceled out their command grab. Which kind of sucks. They didn't. They, I guess they didn't think it was gonna hit. All right, going. Okay, in. I thought it was something from Castlevania. Is something from Castlevania. Yeah. Oh, CPU oh, actually no. managed to hurt themselves with that bomb bag. You hate that. You hate to see it. You hate to see it going in for those jabs into yeah, the red to bait RC. Out that burst. Finisher. They really wanted that burst, but CPU wasn't going for it. Yeah. All right. I've never played Castlevania, guys. I don't have to. I know, I know all the cars in it. <laughs> oh. oh no, bombs are everywhere. There's still one on the stream somewhere. I couldn't even, I didn't know where it was at. Yeah, indeed, going in for the Beyblade. Oh, good awareness right there to go for the trumpet. Newbenheimer. That health is pretty high though. Gonna have to be careful. Oh, oh. just barely. Right before the frame became active on that 2H right there. The Sriracha on the head. Trying to go for the command grab, but it's not enough. Oh, there's another trumpet for Nago. All right, going in for the sweep. Oh, throwing down the bomb. Gonna get that pressure going. Come on, CPU. Gonna throw out the bomb. Uh -oh. The bombo. Does it hit? Oh, baby, it connects. Wow. Look at that going into the. Wow. And no burst on the table bursting for Newman right now. Bursting out of it. This is a very scary situation. If CPU manages to, to win this round, we're going to a game five final round, and CPU is definitely going to be getting a burst here, and Nubenheimer probably is not. Probably not indeed, uh -oh. but it looks like it looks like it's starting off right away with Nubenheimer on the offensive. Yeah, Nubenheimer said, I don't need no damn burst. No, no burst needed when you've got <laughs> Fukio and Beyblade on your side. Yeah, things changed very fast right there. Oh no, the Bombo! Okay, I guess it didn't it's hit. It's caught out. Gotta watch those toes. That bomb is still back there. Got to block it, but the trumpet. Oh no, oh no, the pressure. Look at that. Oh, and it ends. With a two In S. favor of Neubenheimer taking a 3-2 over CPU. Neubenheimer moving on. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, they're definitely, you know, they're training partners. So this is definitely just another, not ne not necessarily just another day for them, but uh, Sparks should be flying here because they know all the tricks each other bring to the table. Oh my God, an amazing defense coming up from Umi. Show the knockdown on the 2D isn't enough to open up the defense, but this is RC up. Get the optimal bombos. Yep, and not gonna elect a burst, just gonna take the wall break and the positive bonus. Razo gonna move back in. No, gonna get the offensive started with the 2S. Here we go. Yep, open up for the 5D, the cross up. JD forcing out the burst from Razo. Oh, RC to keep yourself a little bit safe. Oh no, but wow. RC isn't gonna keep Umi Show safe here. RC, you still have burst available, but yep, keeping it burst safe here. Look at the spacing of this combo. Wow. Cool. And no risk of the burst on deck. And also we have predictions on deck. Make sure you guys vote in the chat. Indeed, uh, put those moon points where your mouth is. Vote for your favorite player. And what a back throw incident from Umi Show here. Trying to get the corner pressure going, but the King reaching out with the toe touch. Nice burst coming out there. Whoa. What? Razo right back in there. Yep, the Berserker Slash going straight through that curse, but Umisha once again getting that corner situation. DP able to escape that defense. 50% meter on the side of Umisha here. Oh no, the aerial gets low profile by the 2K. Umisha about to go into the metered wall break. Yep, Deus Ex Marking and gonna dump the magazine, but come on the other side. Fully reloaded here. Got that sleight of hand pro pulling up into the close slash, not afraid of the DP. Pull up with the median, that's gonna be the JP to break the glass and bring it in the next round. Wow, nicely done. 100% meter, but we're just gonna finish it with the simplest J5P. Love to see it. That's that uh, That's that shenanigans you're talking about. Speaking of shenanigans, back throw incident, getting the pressure started for Umi Show here in the corner. Is Razo just gonna block it out? Yes, beautiful dash out into the pressure, but anti your 5P. Yup, IBFD into the 5P, just poking out that uh, back turn H. Oh Jimmy, my goodness. Pulling up into the throw here, stuck in the corner, but HDP, gotta get you the side swap. Indeed, DP, get off of me, says Razo, and look at this big, big turn in the tide of battle here. Razo, trying to get the momentum moving here. Oh, 
Panther brings you back down to the ground, but you're at Yumi Show's optimal spacing. You have to make your way back in, but caught out by the little leggy. Not a lot of help oh. on Razzo's side here. The throw whiffs. Yeah, throw whiffs. No punish on deck. And Yumi Show with the neutral jump. Not going to rob the burst this time. No bait on deck. Just going to get put in the corner pressure. Has to block it out. For a little air FD shenanigans, Umi Show. This is scary for you. You know, Razzo's on that pixel health, and you're the one stuck in the corner. 50% meter, but are you going to be able to leverage it to get up? Wow. <laughs> Strike Whoa. throw. Here we go. Razzo putting away the game okay, so before and just game. holding it down on the last dregs of life. And, you know, say, it's good to be the king in that situation. Wow. Really, really great pressure from Razzo. And, uh, it's really, uh, really great to see just, you know, basic strike throw enforced so, so efficiently. And uh, can't wait to see uh, what Umi Show does to adapt here in the next round. Yeah, exactly. You know, we meme a lot about the pressure being like, they're knocking on your doors. They're going to get in at any mm -hmm. moment. But, you know, the five Ps, I feel like that's the most accurate use of that phrase, right? Just knocking, mm -hmm. trying to see if you're going to come to the door and finally throwing. And you're right up on it. But going into game two, Razzo's burst no longer available, but able to get the dash cancel. Optimize Man. that corner carry a little bit. Indeed. And I like how both of the opening gambits here for each player was an anti-air 5P <clears throat> counter hit. So we're stopping jump-ins today. All right, going to go through the wall with the Deus Ex Machina. Into the positive bonuses is not a great situation for Leo to be in. Razzo, nice patience there. Umi Show definitely sniffing out a DP. There it is. DP, get off me. Razzo trying to take the battle back here. But the 5P stuffs all dreams of any more offense here. Oh my god, and so much meter, but it's not going to be able to get you out of the corner. But you are fighting your way towards the mid screen here. Razzo, pixel health situation. 50% into the RC. The DP. Oh my goodness, the back and forth here. We steal the corner. We okay, we go, we go through, and then again, this five piece from Umi Show. Like, keep it simple, keep it safe. You know, doesn't that doesn't need to be flashy? Just needs to put the round away. And uh, really nice stuff. Great block, and a wonderful punish on the throw. Razzo really getting it going here. Pushed over to the corner here, rapidly building up that meter. The IBFD isn't going to save you from these slash normals. Nice back dash on the guard break, but it's not going to be enough throw to keep you in the corner once more. All right, far slash going to connect counter hit on Razo, forcing the burst out. We're going to try to keep our offensive positioning here if we can. No, Umi Show coming in, vibe checking the toes. Yep, still got the curse applied here. Razo trying to pull up, but of course, you know, you kind of have to play these layers, right? You know the Happy Chaos is looking for that 2K, that 2S to stop your approach, but unfortunately, still getting caught out. It's going to be a metered wall break as well. Deus Ex Machina to break that glass. Mm -hmm. And 50% on deck when the positive bonus starts for Happy Chaos. Not a good situation for Razo here. And a big counter hit close slash puts the game away. And that is Umi Show tying it up one to one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Already, you know, in the beginning of our top eight, these games are always so close. And like we've mentioned before, you know, of course, Umi Show and Razo have played hundreds, if not thousands of games together already. So we're yeah. just seeing, you know, the culmination of all of these layers. Like, oh, I know you like to backdash here, but, you know, it's usually it's like a fuzzy backdash. <laughs> you know, on block, you know, they're just thinking miles and miles ahead. And we're just trying to keep up here. We're going Indeed. into the game three. Let's see who's able to pull ahead. All right, we just uh, play a patient round start. Strike throw, here we go from Razo. Getting it going back to the wall is Umi Show already. Just blocking it out patiently. I like the space gain, but we still get counter hit trying to fight out of the corner there. Umi Show losing life quickly, but the counter hit with the 2S going to get it started. And uh, Razo going to be put in the pain here. Yep, get a little curse apply on the wall break as well. H Boom going to clear it though. PRC just trying to take that space. Is Umi Show going to burst? No. He's in life lead here. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'd, I'd be, I'll be honest, I'll be surprised if Umi Show decides to burst here, unless it's a very, very, I can confidently clutch this out situation. But we do see the burst from Razo, DP. Wow, keeping it safe with the fireball. Love to see it. And a back throw incident begins things for Umi Show here in the corner. Oh no, out of bullets. You forgot you thought you had one more in the chamber. Can't be Clint Eastwood every time. And Razo's gonna, oh no, trying to be a little bit too cautious of the burst, but Umi Show still not gonna bite. Yeah, indeed, and uh, wow, okay, the fireball, just going to go ahead and say, I have a, a hitbox, you are going to take damage, your little snot bubble does not hurt me at all. Once again, Razzo calling it out. Curse does not apply if Happy Chaos gets hit, so that's a really nice decision making there from Razzo, and we get the corner pressure, the IBs coming out from Umi Show to keep that spacing. Risk is cranked, Umi Show has to defend 
into a beautiful back throw incident. Yep, and look how fast that risk is running out. The patch doing absolute wonders right now, and Umi Show is gonna get the Deus Ex Machina once again through the wall. Hard knockdown. Are you gonna take some space with the guaranteed curse setup? Are you just gonna pull up into a safe jump? Oh, Neither of the above. Yeah. Nice ID on the cross through. Indeed, and uh, we are seeing once again. Like I talked about it a little bit last night in the Unicorn three v three battle, but these Happy Chaos players, like yes, Happy Chaos is crazy strong, but. When you see these top level Happy Chaos players, they bring very, very solid defense to the table in addition to what Happy Chaos brings in every other situation in the game. So it's it's truly awesome to see. That being said, everybody cracks eventually and uh, Razo looking for the burst there, not gonna get it. And the wall splat takes the burst off the table entirely and Razo goes up two to one. Are we seeing the makings, the foundations being laid for a game five situation here? I don't know, let's see. It's been so back and forth, and I love the tap dust into the fast RC, right? You immediately want to go into the wall slide before Umi Show even has the, you know, the ability to react. Oh, I'm about to be wall spotted. I got opened up. I should press burst. It was so fast, like, you know, barely even half a second duration. And that's going to mm -hmm. be the game over to Razo. But, you know, let's see if Umi Show is able to tie up the set here. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely loving the back and forth, and uh, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my vote down for a game five situation. Again, you know, we've talked about it a bunch at this point. You know, the horse isn't quite beaten to death yet, though. These are training partners. You know, the horse is still breathing a little bit. They are training partners, so I don't know if we've really seen yet the them digging super deep into the knowledge wells, but we might see it here as this continues on. Burst coming out early from Umi Show here does not want Razo to get going, but the 2D counter hit says we're right back in your face and we're going through the wall here oh no and quite a switch up from the past few games like we've been seeing umi show holding on to that burst really trying to make sure that razo has to have it on the mental stack are you going to bait it out or not but using it early and it's not going to save the round for you yeah that was huge momentum for razo all that round can they keep it going here though oh my goodness oh, the counter hit 2d once again we don't oh, care about oh, oh my god getting bubble. the bubbles into the corner Oh my goodness, DP breaking us through the wall, putting us in the positive bonus here. Alright, little 2S, just swipe the space in case Umi Show gets a little funky with it, trying to pull up. Oh no, the stadium gonna get caught out here by the PRC. Okay, Umi Show burst basically as soon as it comes back up here, and uh, beautiful PRC, but the air throw whiffs! Oh no, DP oh, no, get off of me. Land, but... Alright, Umi Show on a low health situation, runs into the H boom, but the clash... The trade, just trying to jump over these Berserker Slashes, finally get the knockdown though. Gonna be able to get the hard knockdown off Dave's X. Yeah, good stuff. No bullets left. Gonna get the full reload from the super and positive bonus. Talk about resource gains. You got all the resources you need. Do a little bit of that big steady aim. Big Razo wanna mash here. Burst is still available. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Robbed by Umi Show. Put the burst in the bag. This is a robbery Umi show. Committing crimes live on Twitch here. <clears throat> and what a confirm there. Happy Chaos confirms. Always nice to be. Wow, DP get off me. Just connects with a block. And that is big, big damage coming towards Razo. And we're just, just walking coast to coast no, here and gosh. through the wall. Oh my goodness. And that here, was beautiful. I Umi show right swapping, you know, maybe to just open up that left right mix, but no, we're just optimizing for the damage. We're gonna go coast to coast, make it a little bit more difficult, add a little bit of distance there, but Razo fighting back. Indeed. 100 meter on deck for Umi show. Do we see the YRC or do we just see him block it out? Oh my goodness, they just block it out, forcing the burst out of Razo, and this is no mistakes territory for Razo here. Oh, trying to shimmy on it, just throwing the RCs back and forth at each other. 60. Not gonna catch Umi Show on the way down, but the cross up is burst. Put you back in the corner. Clone on the screen. Nice 2B. No. This should be able to kill. It's tied up no. on the set. 2 2. Wow. Oh my goodness. Umi Show hanging on, leaning on that strong defense, clutching it out once again. And yeah, tying it up. We're going to game five. Oh my goodness and i can't believe it right you know like you mentioned umi show obviously very experienced in this matchup and really mm -hmm. just not folding to a lot of the uh you know the strings that razo is presenting here of course you can only block leo for so long but a lot of players especially if you're not experienced uh, against that back turn pressure will kind of you know try and mash out or try and backdash mm -hmm. as soon as possible but we're seeing so much patience here going yeah. into game five
indeed. And we're uh, we're checking the Vimes, which is dash up 2P on Razo's side, getting put immediately into the pressure here by Umi Show. Trying a little Abare there, but we... Oh, DP get off of me from Razo here. IBFD oh. on the meaty there. Good stuff from Umi Show, but still not keeping the King out for long. Taking the turn back here, though, and we're walking to the wall. Right, so much health lost, but the H Boom PRC gonna put you back. Wait, no, goes for the side swap and then just gonna cross through again. You never know what Razo is thinking. A bit uh, air FD to try and get back into the corner once again. All these wall bounces. Look at that camera angle. Gonna break it with the guard break. Oh my goodness, and the back and forth, the momentum shifts we're seeing here. Good block on the BRC attempt to get in by Umi Show, and a really strong strike throw from Razo we're seeing here. Taking the round. Really, really nice stuff. That was anybody's game until it suddenly wasn't. And that's the kind of Guilty Gear you love to see. Big counter here for Umi Show here. Oh my goodness. Yep, gonna opt to keep the corner, but unfortunately you have the opportunity to scramble HDP. Knockdown into the throw. You gotta hold this Umi Show, even the best defense against Leo. Sometimes you just guess wrong. Or still oh the first, but 2D goodness. gets you back in. Oh my goodness, the DP and Razzo putting it away. Once again, demonstrating that it is good to be the king. Razzo and Umi Show, don't forget the VOD will be up on the Nine Moons YouTube channel here in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for it and go subscribe over there to, uh, you know, get the notes on the tech. But getting into the game here, Nubenheimer starting strong with that blood sucking universe, putting SQ in the pressure here, blocking it out now. Oh, the burst trying to put Nubenheimer back into the corner. Randathal saying, all right, I know this J2 fellow said you only got one sword. I know you got the short sword strapped on you, so I got to be careful. Keep that distance. Level two blood on for Nubenheimer right now. Just trying to get a nice hit. Indeed. And that's right. Yeah, Nago uses the Wakizashi for close slash. Dang, how could we? Well, there it is right there. Oh, Counter yeah. hit Nubenheimer close slash. Indeed. You know, speak of the devil and he shall arrive. And that is a big super going to break through the wall here. A lot of damage and also recover a little bit of that blood. Nubenheimer has some opportunities to mix here with the clone. Oh, no, it's so close. Okay. Okay, nice. Nice little jump dust to keep the corner pressure on. 5H going to put the round away and Nubenheimer looking good. Looking good. Look at the chip damage that that JD did in the air, bringing SQ down to the ground and this DP bringing that HP so low with the blood rage pop. It's going to be huge here. SQ, are you going to be able to kill off this? You built the 50 meter. Can you finish it? Oh my goodness. Oh, a little bit too far. Okay, we whip the blood sucking universe and then we get out of the corner just to get counter hit right back into ram pressure. Nubenheimer with a big body back dash there to get out. Beautiful 6P, gonna try to get the turn started here. Yep, great read on Eskew's falling jump. Eskew's stuck in the corner against level two blood Nago. Oh, and the wow. 5D, oh. we pull up into it. Just walk up slowly, standing oh. overhead. Nubenheimer that was... takes the first game. That was really good. Like that was kind of layers, right? Because it looked like it looked a lot like SQ was trying to vibe check a front Fukio into pressure, and Nubenheimer just called it out by walking forward menacingly. And like that goes to show, right? The power of embracing doing nothing. Like all he, all Nubenheimer did was take a step forward. Like it doesn't get any more basic than that. And yet, stacks on stacks paying dividends with just a simple little bit of decision making. Really, really powerful stuff. And we're gonna move right into game two here. Absolutely menacing Nubenheimer, like they're saying in the chat, you know, just doing so well in so many of these online tournaments. You have to keep your head in the game, but of course the prestige that comes with the Nubenheimer name is something you also got to deal with on the mental. But SQ doing a great job of keeping up the corner pressure. The uh, flip kick gets backdash, but still able to maintain this corner. Yeah, this is uh, not a good place to be. for e Even if you have a meterless reversal, you do not want to be in ramp corner pressure. It is basically her win condition, and we are witnessing a lot of Nubenheimer blocking right now. That risk was cranked. This is going to be damage. Mobato. Yeah, I was just about to say. Lago's probably dead because he was at level three blood and it's Ram Ball. Yeah, that that defense modifier nerf on Nago at high blood really going to be pivotal in this matchup. Like, uh, really huge. Good burst coming out from Nubenheimer, trying to stop the bleeding and the momentum that SQ is building here. A lot of blood on deck, so not a lot of specials available. Nubenheimer just going to have to use the fundies. Yep, 
Great whip punish on that Nago 2S. It's a little bit slower this patch. Not really as easy to spam the double jump. Cancel just going into another JH if the first doesn't work. I'll do it again. And SQ has a huge life lead here. Even Hammer has to get the one chance potential. You have 50% meter, but not a lot of blood left in the tank of the blood sucking oh. universe. Wait a Big trade, though, for Nubenheimer there. And yeah, that was a really unfortunate blood-sucking universe and a beautiful Labare 5K coming out from SQ there to put the game away. Wow. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, that should tie it up one-to-one. -one. A lot of good back and forth right now. Yep, just checking that Fukio forward. Chad is asking, wait, did Nago and Slayer's Grab have the same name? Yes, they are both Bloodsucking Universe. If I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken on the lore, there's a lot going on in Guilty Gear, so I could be wrong, but I want to say Slayer is Nagoriyuki's mentor, if I'm, if I'm not yep. mistaken. Yes, yes, Nago Ryuki is a student of dandyism, so yes, that is, uh, that tracks, it's one-to-one. -one. Jay, the lore god out here, looking, <laughs> looking good. Just a couple vampire bros, <laughs> quite the vampire savior like last night's mm -hmm. Yuri Core 3v3, but you oh my know, goodness, you yeah. learn a little bit from your master, of course, you gotta take the move names sometimes, that's what you gotta yep. do. Indeed, and uh, yeah, it's really good, like, I love the lore of Guilty Gear, it can be a little convoluted, you know, there's a bunch of videos you can watch to catch up if you want, but it is still, it is really, really good, really good, like, world building and everything else. That being said, we're here for violence, and a whiff blood-sucking universe starts things off really badly for Nubenheimer, already in the corner against SQ's Ram. Oh my goodness, he's gonna do so much damage here, yup, pull up into the Mortavato, get that metered knockdown burst, it's still available for Nubenheimer, and I'd be surprised to be- Oh! Oh my God, goodness. He believes. He's we believing. Believe. Indeed, but that belief might not be no. founded. But no, the drop opportunity or commentator's curse, oh. you decide. Wow. SQ picking it up off of that unfortunate turn of events. And Nubenheimer going down around pretty early and use the burst already. Yuki does have a decent health pool to be able to, you know, scramble and maybe get that burst back. But like we've been seeing, Nubenheimer is not afraid to hang out at that level 2 blood, which is exactly where, like you were mentioning, that defense modifier gets so much lower burst available for SQ, but I think you're just going to oh. save it. Yep. Yeah, we're saving that for the next round. Seven golden letters on screen for Nubenheimer. Really rocking and rolling through that round. Good stuff. What a back Fukio into a far slash vibe check. Really nicely done. Forcing the burst off of SQ. We are playing a little bit of footsies in this neutral situation here. Absolutely. Yep. Just waiting for a whiff here. Okay. I like oh. the Beyblade to get away from the sword, but beautiful spacing from SQ puts the big man in the corner. Oh, and that throw whiff going to be huge on the sword toss. SQ going to get that positive bonus. Oh, nice IBFD, but the blood sucking universe connects. It is Nago party. I'm so nice. I'm gonna it twice. Ooh. Well, how many universes we got on deck? A third. You have 50% meter. This should be able to kill. Wow. No scaling matters. You got the super and the wow. wall break. Another game of the side of Nubenheimer. Oh, my goodness. Nubenheimer, I'm three parallel universes ahead of you. Count the bites. Count them. Like, damn, really good stuff coming out from Nubenheimer there to put that one away and go up two to one. Are we building a, another game five situation here, Jay? Because it feels like it could be possible. I don't know, man. As soon as we get to these nine moons top eights, of course, they are always oh. so stacked. So you, the level of competition that you have to fend against, you know, of course, it's going to be going to these close situations once you oh, yeah. reach that upper echelon. We are oh, heading yeah. into it. game four, I believe. We are 2-1. Nubenheimer just needs one more to close it out. Oh my goodness, the counter hit 5k forces SQ to burst and uh, Nubenheimer taking that momentum and running with a beautiful backdash coming out from SQ. I like it. I'm loving loving just the, the, the give and take on space here in the neutral. Really, really nice stuff. Just feel it out. Don't always have to swing, but we swing and then connect the blood sucking universe. Nubenheimer! Oh, not again, not again! Okay. Beautiful, beautiful backdash from SQ. Did not want to get bit again, but it's not going to matter. Nagaruyuki calling out the Shadow Clone, making him do the dirty work, finishing with a 5D. Good stuff. Yeah, but I wonder if SQ is going to adapt to all these command grabs coming out. Nubenheimer no longer has to worry about that defense modifier. If he can just keep clearing his blood like this, and of course, you also get that mix opportunity once you're in that corner pressure. SQ, oh, gets the Daro, but it's not advantage enough to win the scramble after. Indeed, and uh, Nubenheimer, positive bonus, 100 tension. This is very scary. And burst. SQ is going to really have to make uh, make some magic happen here. All right, 2S directly into the, the super. Combo. Oh, my God, it's it does. It confirms. 
beautiful play by Neubenheimer to put the set away. 3-1 over SQ, and they nerfed that button, but damn, it is still so good for what it does. Really good confirm, and it's really great. So I'm really excited to see what both players bring to the table. And again, this is the less than fortunate side of the bracket, so no chances left. Nine Moons Cheto versus Diaphone here, starting off strong. Yep, let's see it. Trying to keep up that space, but Cheto, yep, trying to be a little funky with it. That bar slash actually reached. I cannot believe it, but not able to get the pressure going off of it. Oh, but the armor actually prevents that yo-yo set from starting Diaphone's pressure. Indeed, and we're going right through the wall, going to get a positive bonus situation going for Cheto, but Diaphone with the 50 meter have to have to be wary of that DP. Oh, what a shimmy to bait the throw, but Cheto doesn't bite. PRC to keep the pressure going here. You can power up. Who do you guys think is going to take it? The lucky yo yo girl or the king of the wow. jungle in first round? Over to the ladder, Cheto. Looking so wow, strong. Cheto really did a good job baiting that throw out there. And uh, Diaphone taking the turn early, trying to get the mix going. Cheto with a nice block on the JD there. Little Shimmy gets the toes tapped. And oh my goodness, this is not where you want to be. Yep, I like the little delay after the plus frame scooters, just trying to wait out in case Jetto's like, all right, you're plus here, I'm going to DP, and then taking your turn afterwards, really just prioritizing that mental stack. Says, I know you got the DP, pulling up here into the safe jump, gets caught out of the mash though, might have been looking for 2D. Oh man, and that is a lot of bar, going to go ahead and spend some of it to get the Oki situation here. Yep, just go into the safe jump, you always got to be careful mm -hmm. of the DP, once again, throwing out the, <laughs> throwing out the throw. Oh my goodness, we slide over high profiling the king, trying to show off his shiny shoes, but uh, unfortunately Bridget just not just, just not a shoe gal, you know. Not a sneaker head. It's a little expensive out here, but she is gonna keep you in the corner. She's got the yo-yos for transportation. No Yeezys required. Pulling up here. Cheto already at 50% health, but nice counter hit to push Diaphone all the way over to the corner. Indeed, and uh, burst on the table for both players here. Diaphone not using it yet. We uh there it is, but it's going to be put in the bag by Cheto, and we're going to get a nice Oki situation with some positive bonus on the side. And you're going to have to guess here, guessed incorrectly, Diaphone going to fall down in game one to Cheto. Oh, man. Yeah, and it was close, but that last situation, right? You have the 100% meter, but you still have to guess where Leo Ooh. is going to hit on that wall break situation. You can't wire C until you block that first hit. You can't DP if you don't know which side to input it on. So Indeed. it happens. Close situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, speaking of the you can't DP when you don't know what side it's on, that's where it's good to be the king, right? Because Cheto's DP, flash kick DP, does not care what direction, what side they're coming from. Holding down, you push up, it comes out, and... Uh, that is uh, that is huge in the in the left right and uh, really really could be powerful here if uh, yep. utilized correctly. All right, the slash gonna bring us back out to the mid screen. Two K two D going into the yo yo shenanigans. Gonna set up another safe jump. No, just go for the wall break. Get that positive bonus. Man, Roger, doing Bridget's light work here, and uh, we're gonna go for the safe jump. Good stuff. Oh, we get our toes broken by the high-low diaphone. Going to go ahead and uh, butt-slam our problems right through the wall into another positive bonus situation. No Oki, but we get the clip. And oh my goodness, Cheto going down around there. And diaphone looking to have all the answers right now. Yep, doing a great job of, you know, maneuvering between... Oh, rock the baby. Oh. We pull up the ah, baby. Right, Yo-Yo is set in the corner here, gonna get the plus frames off of that roll, stuck once again into that positive bonus, hard knockdown Diaphone, wow. just doing such a great job of cashing out on all of these hits. Indeed, burst coming out from Cheto, not gonna be put in the bag, no baits available here, and uh, oh, big 6P, RC, big combo for Diaphone here. Woo! Oh my goodness, Loved the it. H Yo-Yo set able to pick up after it, not quite able to kill, gets the bait on the DP, but still PRC available, Cheto, you have to one chance this... Bridget doesn't have the highest health pool, but you don't either right now, trying to bait something out with the rolls. Oh, we clash in the air-to-air -air situation, and Bridget gets the roll all the way in, and then break the ankles there, and Diaphone tying it up one-to-one. -one. Really yep, love to see it. It's scary there. You see the roll coming from the full screen, right? You're like, oh, why, why mm -hmm. didn't you? 6p it there but of course the bridget has opportunities to you know yeah. air dash back or maybe land early and maybe bait out that anti-air and wish punish 100%. you for it and of course at that one hit situation you know you have to make that gamble and then you block the roll stuck in the high low situation it's it's pretty tough to get out of yeah definitely definitely 
great play by Diaphone there to lean on all the information on screen and really take advantage of, you know, the risk that needed to be taken. But Cheto found a nice answer there with the guard point and then a back throw incident to get the corner pressure started. Command grab. Oh, baby. Oh, we tried it Suplex again. All the way down. Okay, put the yo-yo set on the screen. It's not going to come back, but it's able to get you out. 2S on the other side, though. Cheto looking super strong this round. One throw could seal it out. Indeed. Okay, guard point not going to connect. And a back throw incident for Diaphone. Going to try to put Cheto's back to the wall here and get the mix machine going. Oh, backdash BRC. Once again, keeping that corner positioning. Going to be able to stay safe. The air YRC doesn't quite get you the pressure you're looking for. Nice throw attack to keep that corner going to the low once again. All right, we break the toes. And Cheto believes in the round. Wants to take it here. Cannot make any mistakes, though. That burst might not come back next round if a mistake is made. Oh, Diaphone with a big drop. Oh, my goodness. Okay. But we pick it right back up with a yo-yo. And uh, Diaphone might be getting the round, the burst back this round. Cheto going to be pretty hard pressed. Guard point through our problems. Big counter hit coming in for Cheto. And we try to get it started. Diaphone with a nice spacing there. Oh, finally going for the high option off of the roll here. Gonna get another save jump off of it, pushing you so far over to the corner. The air dash really just forcing you to use that YRC. Nice gold burst on the run through. Oh my goodness. Hit him with the Twix bars. Diaphone having to choose left or right Twix. <clears throat> and uh, right back into the roll pressure. Oh my goodness. The ankles. How, how does How is Leo still standing? The ankles have been broken so many times this evening. Oh All my right. god, left or right to mix high or low. Cheto is guessing right up until the throw. Yo-Yo is still available here for another mix, but you're going to go with the throw. RC, try and keep it for safe. All right, one chance left for Cheto. Good burst available maybe, but it's still going to be really hard. Diaphone doing a great job of putting this pressure on and keeping everything clean and safe. But a beautiful burst from Cheto could be the foot in the door. He needs to take the round back. Pulling up, not even gonna knock, just gonna break it down. Oh no, oh, the PRC a little bit too late. Not quite able to respond, tying up the round count. Wow. Chato bringing it back from that pixel hell. It's good to be the king. Oh my goodness. And Cheto riding that momentum and starting strong here in round three, putting on immense pressure in the corner, but beautiful FDs from Diaphone to keep the spacing not in Cheto's favor. Yep, a little break situation, trying to mix it up with the scooter. Oh no, but not quite enough time to go for the safe jump. Chato forcing out the burst from Diaphone. Yep, fade out the anti-air, but two, they gonna anti-air you on the second oh, roll. Yeah. I can't believe it. Wow, Chato clearly cracked into something here and has uh, ascended. We jump the rock, the baby, into a red RC to put the game away and squeak out a lead. Wow, Chato. Oh my goodness, like, wow, wow, you know, you know, I'm a fan of a good bear hug, but clearly Cheto has had one too many this evening and uh, not going to let Diaphone get away with it that time. Wow, what a jump out. Really, really peak performance, peak play, if you will, coming out from Cheto there. Can it be maintained? Can we see Cheto lock up the set three to one and stop Diaphone's tournament run here? I don't know. Let's see. We've seen the 3 1. We've seen the 2 3 so far. These top eights are so close. And of course, you know, like you mentioned, we're on the loser side of the bracket. Whoever mm -hmm. loses here is going to be out. You know, you still made it to top eight. But of course, you want the opportunity to fight against SQ in the losers quarterfinals. So let's see if Diaphone can bring it back. Gets guard broken here. Cross through. <gasps> DP, get off of me. But it was baited. Cheto gets the burst from Diaphone on that error there. But Diaphone right back in, getting the mix machine going. All right, Chateau oh, blocking it out. Oh my goodness, the ankles are impervious until now. Burst available. Using it to oh. get out of the corner here. Ariel gets you in. Not quite the combo, though. Okay, Chateau with the nice blocks with the JD. Cracking the dome with a multi overhead there. Breaking the toes once again. 100 meter on deck for Diaphone. This is a scary situation for Chateau. Gotta just block it out. Up in the FD, just bringing Diaphone out of that space, but pulling up back once again. Able to take the round. We go low, watch your toes. And uh, Diaphone here trying to tie it up one life bar away from a game five situation. Yep, trying to oh. run the council right now. Pulls up into the roll. Still have the yo-yo available. Oh no, but it doesn't quite save jump. It lands a little bit too early. Cheto has the pressure started. But like the, the DP we were talking about four games ago finally shows. 
all gets the overhead. Dome cracked open, forces the burst out. Okay, Twix bar bar's gonna miss. Tech in the throw. Cheto getting it started with the 5P. Throw whiffs, no burst available. Oh my goodness. That's gonna hurt. Oh, but actually able to live with the pixel health. Once again, we're stuck in this post wall break situation. Same side overhead, the 5D. We are one round away from knocking Diaphone out of the bracket. Are you gonna be able to keep up? Nice 2P. All right, starting off strong for Diaphone now. Uh, corner pressure engaged. Cheto tech in the throw though, really aware on that one's happened a couple times. Not falling for the shimmy, Ooh. beautiful 6P on the roll. Yep, Cheto you gotta feeling represent it. the anti air, even though you know it can be baited, you gotta have that dog and you jump the, gonna get you in here, another safe jump available. Oh, but it looked like it went there. Might have been yeah, a little early on the timing, but it's all good, we get the super wall break. Yep, yo yo Masta coming in, gonna get the Oki situation, positive bonus, not where Cheto wants to be. If they're trying to avoid the game 5 situation, we break the toes, forcing the burst out. Diaphone, one to two mixes away here from getting to a game 5 situation. Yep, at the full screen, Diaphone, great presence of mind, trying to play around the armored stance, but now you're stuck in the back turn. This is gonna be a huge punish off of the DP. Indeed. Much damage on the counter, I don't think it's quite gonna be able to kill, but the run through Wow! Is Oh, Chetto, my goodness, knocking Chetto. Diaphone out. Three ones. Wow. So close in the last hit situation. The Bridget Bros. So unfortunate, wow. but still and great run up until this point. You and the crazy doctor. Yep, we got two Nine Moons representatives here, both on the Leo, trying to make it further on into the loser side of the bracket. But CPU, one of the best Fausts out here, the young legend, they are going to be quite the barrier for MFCR to overcome. Indeed, Faust is definitely in a really strong position this patch. Maybe not, you know, top three, but in terms of where Faust's journey has been in uh, the patch progression, Faust is looking real strong, especially in the hands of these character specialists. Look at the strike throw on display. MFCR already going to be put away here. Absolutely. CPU, no burst available, but you got the round in the bag here. Off to a great start. You know, just trying to use that 2K. Catch out the air approach as well as the grounded banana peel Oki, keeping MFCR out. Oh, I like the response on the 2D. Just block it out, punish, really nice stuff. And MFCR doing a good job of respecting the hammer, but the tons of fun hits the ground and gets things going for CPU. The item, the item tosses haven't necessarily been here for CPU tonight, but right now they are looking good. And oh, what a, what a sequence. Oh my goodness, MFCR. Almost got burst baited into oblivion there, but CPU not able to pick it up, and we are just going to get 2 deed for our problems here. Yep, and if wow. CR, pretty empty health bar, but a full bar of tension going to go in the 2D fast RC run through. CPU is getting mixed here, and trust oh me, I would goodness. too. It's so difficult. Just go straight into the super to break the wall. MFCR, the robbery is oh in my progress. Goodness. We got him. Wow. Oh my goodness. CPU got mixed out the sneakers there. Like, give me, give me, give me the Nikes, bro. I need the Jordans. Give them to me. Ta I'm taking them. And, give me uh, the Abibis. I want that shit <laughs> so bad. Indeed. What a throw on the cross through attempt. And uh, MFCR are going to be put in the corner with the Afro. Counter hit, close slash. Big damage incoming from CPU Woo! here. Into the item toss, the hammer catching you on the way up as well for that wall break. The glass, but also breaking into the HP, no longer knocking on your doors. The burst gets baited as well. MFCR. All right, here we go. Wow, that was a good block. The DK, but still gonna keep it blocking. IB into the throw punish. Wow, really, really good stuff from CPU, and this is uh, danger territory from MFCR, but we saw the turnaround before. It could happen here. It's not over till it's over. Gold Burst does not connect. DP, get off of me. Still from MFCR, and no burst from CPU. This is very, very bad. The wall break was there. I wasn't trying to curse it. I was I was not sure. It was very the wall break might not have been there. I wasn't trying to curse it. Oh my goodness, MFCR displaying in full force the you know assembled alternatively status that they represent. Oh my goodness. Wow. And CPU just playing so solid in the neutral, always, you know, being mm -hmm. able to bring MFCR to these low health situations. But, yeah. you know, you get the gold burst DP and you're like, all right, you know, I should be able to convert this into super wall. Burst. Oh, CPU is oh. dead. All right. That's a nice bonus on top of it. I'm just glad yeah. I got the gold burst, the full stick mm -hmm. of butter for all that tension.
Man, that was that was that was really really nice stuff. And uh, here we go, moving on. All right, starting things off strong for CPU. Gonna get the homie out. Gonna try to lock it down with the bombs. No bomb bad men. We're just gonna avoid them here. Nice blocks from CPU. Oh, just throwing some stuff out in the mid screen. 2H is gonna be able to get the hammer on the screen, but that's not gonna stop the H boom. MFCR is in, but getting back throw incidented back into the corner. You go. Oh my goodness, here we go. And uh, the drill, gonna block the Scarecrow, but not gonna block the big scalpel here. And this is big. Does Burst come out? Probably not. Gonna save it for next round. And uh, I can't disagree there. Keep it for a little healthier situation where you have potentially momentum to save. And uh, speaking of momentum, MFCR gets it going strong right here with that same side. Really nice, good stuff. Try it, chasing down the back dash, forcing the Burst off a of CPU. Really good stuff so far. 6H gonna get you another hammer on the screen here. Finally getting caught out. CR dodging that command grab. Mm -hmm. I like the choice not to punish either because if you looked, Mini Faust was standing inside of Faust's hurt box. So MFCR wouldn't have gotten a whole lot off of it anyway. And we use the PRC to dodge Ooh. the parade. MFCR with the awareness. And MFCR the See this shit before it knows that. Wow. <laughs> the for it, coming through the entire fan club said, all right, I got to drive around here. I know there's going to be traffic on the main roads. Just take to the skies and take the round. Tying it up Indeed. here. Really good block on the cross through into another beautiful throw punish. CPU going to try to get it started here. Oh, oh man. Counter it on the thrust, forcing out the burst from MFCR. Still relatively even health totals here. And uh, really good stuff. MFCR really able to work around the mini Faust there. Counter hit 2D. Burst is going to come back online for CPU here. Any yep, there it is. Used almost immediately. Ooh, big counter hit. This should be able to kill for MFCR. If you can bring it over to the corner, 50% wow. meter. Don't even need it. Another game on the board. 2-0 MFCR right now. Yeah, that's looking incredibly nice. MFCR sitting in the driver's seat, looking really comfortable there. And uh, honestly, it, it feels like off of the back of those, uh, you know, couple of robberies that have been committed. We saw them here. They were some robberies. That momentum shift, huge. It feels like MFCR gets, you know, that confidence buff and then CPU forced onto the back foot, having to play even more carefully than they already are. And it's seeming to let MFCR just get away with some of these stray hit situations and confirms that otherwise they might not be able to. That being said, CPU still very awake on these cross through attempts. We've seen a couple of really nice throws on that cross through and uh, it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, they're able to get the 2k into the mix, mix, mix. Oh my god, the wall break off of it as well. Positive bonus. Gonna be able to let you get some shenanigans. Might see some PRC scarecrows. Nope, just go into the 5D. Oh no, we've seen this situation so many times before, Bear. MFCR is mm -hmm. able to get the opening on the defense. It doesn't matter if he's at 100 health or 1. Still able to take it back? Wow, look at the spacing. And again, MFCR doing a really great job in the spacing game. But so is CPU. CPU is making 2K look like a god button in this bracket. Maybe not maybe not all, all in this set, but across the evening, 2K just always shining through. And uh, so is that bomb bag there. Going to shine through to the next round here. Right, first available for MFCR, but CPU taking around once again. Hasn't been able to close it out yet, but that was a strong start. Mm -hmm. Stuck in the corner, though. Look at the life chunk away. All right, going to get the burst off of MFCR into a back throw incident. This could be huge. Burst into the air, grabbed on the way down. The safe jump doesn't quite hit their PRC to knock you straight out of the skies. Oh my goodness, we break the ankles on the same side, and then we cross through YRC to get the pressure going for CPU. Let's get the haircut. Hair on fire, looking absolutely dastardly. Got the mini Faust on the screen. Where are you going, sir? Do you need assistance? I'll be over here. All right, there we go. All right, Running back into, it, into the weight. Mix, mix, mix. Gonna not get punished by the throw, and this is huge. All right, are we gonna see some, sir, do you need assistance? Yep, sir, sir, do you need assistance? And, uh, you know, Faust doing his best, still makes Ooh. a little mistakes. Breaking the ankles there. Good stuff. And we are going to see CPU put a breadstick on the board and try to set up another game five situation here in this top eight. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no three o's available in this top eight of course once again we are on the other side of the losers bracket here whoever mm -hmm. falls is going to be out of the bracket so cpu trying to stay in moving on you know trying to move on to the losers quarters against umi show but mfcr is going to make that very difficult Two one right now for mfcr just needs one more game Indeed. okay we cross through in a big trade all right, Berserker Slash, nice backdash from CPU. Gonna make it rain with the Meteor. Scarecrow gonna knock it blocked, forces the burst off of MFCR, but we are right back in, trying to push into the corner pressure. Yep, the bomb bag exploding on CPU, keeping them in the corner still. MFCR, nice jump through, or jump on the cross through. Putting you back into the mid screen, you know, a little swim in the air. Oh no, but getting opened up at the cross through once again. Leo pressure live Indeed. here in Los Angeles. The 2K <laughs> opens you up once again. Not a lot of damage, but just so wow. many mixed situations. Able to keep it first safe. Yep, RC up. Oh, oh no. no, big draw opportunity here. This could be big for CPU. And uh, yeah, like you, like you were pointing out, all these cross throughs, like we've seen CPU doing a good job of throwing them, but that doesn't mean that you can just do it for free every time Leo tries to do something because it is inherently so risky. You do not want to get counter hit on a throw attempt there and CPU doing a really good job just blocking it out there a lot and or leaning on the life bar. Right now, cooking through this wall and cooking through the King's life bar here looking for some of these item tosses cpu is doing such a great job of just weaving them in sometimes to try and have something to support pulling up but you know you get that donut you get that trumpet and it's just not enough to keep up the pressure but command grab gonna get a nice afro on mfcr here exploded for that little aerial bombo should be able to kill if you get the whole big tie at the round count you still in this indeed signs of life are still there light at the end of the tunnel is visible just gonna have to hope it's not a train Oh, what a cross through, forcing the burst out. CPU going to get nice offensive positioning, but no, MFCR responds right back with a burst of their own. Yeah, the thrust a little bit too close. Not going to be burst safe at that distance, pushing you all the way over into the other corner. 50% meter available to convert off of this 5D positive bonus. About to get you another chunk of that tension. Indeed. Oh, what a 5P into a beautiful haircut situation. Fabulous. Right into the Afro ignition and uh cpu gets the nice straight hit off of the afro pop and uh right into the corner pressure oh no, no the super is going to trigger mini fast the immediate activation stopping you in the corner and great awareness from cpu <sighs> pulling up immediately this should be able to kill tie wow. up the game count two two we are Man. heading into another game five bear if nobody's got faust back mini faust got faust back look at that situation that unfortunately unfolded for mfcr right there and uh in the favor of cpu and you know that's another game five another one on the books here in weekly 45 weekly 45 is the week of game five it would seem and uh we are all for it all for it let's go yeah it was it was an interesting interaction there, right? Because the super activated mini toss for used to there being a little bit of a delay until the hit comes out, but immediately stopping that super. And CPU is like, all right, I'm pulling up here, pulling up into the game five. First available on both sides, just trying to get the first edge on that knockdown. J2K gets hit up by the 5P. And right, and NFCR getting the pressure situation going. And nice block on the cross through from CPU. Instant block into the throw punish, and that is really nice defense we're seeing on this boy there all oh, the mini fouls keeping up that pressure just slowly pushing mfcr over to this left side all oh, building up that 50 percent meter not gonna need it though you have the back turn set up into the low what? oh my goodness pr3 prc into a back throw incident oh my goodness cpu yeah, a mogu mogu situation do you need assistance bear call the doctor Sir, sir, do you need assistance? And that's gonna be the round for CPU. Oh my goodness, indeed. Like, who do you call a doctor when the doctor's the one doing harm? Like, which doctor do you call? He's the only one on call right now, Jaysu. And exactly. another back throw coming out for CPU. All pulling up, no Afro to explode off the JD, but still forcing out the burst. NFCR really scrambling to get out of CPU's pressure right now, but they are looking absolutely dominant. Mini Faust into the Meteor Hammer. You cannot approach. Indeed. 
of a cross up mix, mix, mix. Finally getting a mix up opportunity off the little tornado. There's some flaws with the move, but in that situation, doing you so well. Is CPU gonna clear it out with a perfect? A little bit of chip damage, so it's not quite oh, gonna be it. But taking it goodness. game five over MFCR. Wow, and that just goes to show ladies and gentlemen that it is not over until it is over it's gonna and see the ranlethal versus the leo one of the nine moons leos made it unfortunately the other did not so cheto you know carrying the nine moons name on his back right now indeed and uh, sq already getting the nice nice stagger pressure going in the corner cracking cheto's defense and mortal bato putting our problems right through the wall into an oki situation Yep, look at all the damage done already. Able to keep it safe with the sword tosses. Cheto trying to jump out, but RC off of the throw. It's sober safe, and the life lead is so big. Cheto just going to yep. wait till the next round. Indeed, and that's seven golden letters off the rip for SQ there. Looking really strong here in this uh, first game of the set. Oh, I'm just trying to swing here with the slashes, the heavy slashes. But of course, SQ on the rail call. She has so much range to be able to counter poke. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and Mortobato once again putting our problems through the wall into an Oki situation. Cheto really struggling to get it going here. Big hit, no burst yet, not safe. Oh, oh really no, no super to be able to close it out, but yep, keeping it burst safe. You gotta make sure that Cheto doesn't get the opportunity to rob you. Nice IP wow. on the cross SQ, looking so strong in the game one. Wow, incredibly strong in the game one. Cheto had two opportunities for offense, and both times it felt like SQ was just ready. There was no, it was all SQ. Like, that is something that honestly we haven't really seen in this top eight so far. And uh, is it going to continue? Because that was absolutely a dominant performance by SQ right there in game one. Yep, it's SQ all the way down. But of course, you know, just last set, we saw CPU versus MFCR, right? We saw mm. MFCR looking so dominant, but CPU able to bring it back. So let's see if Cheto's able to make those same kind of adaptions going into the game two here. Yeah, forced to burst early, but now that's the first significant damage of the set for Cheto, and we are picking up steam here. SQ actually on the defensive, trying to get out. Nice jump out of the corner, forcing Cheto onto the defensive. Oh, Rekka not going to give you that hard knockdown, so actually using the RC just to get the wall break is pretty important here. You want that positive bonus as Bram. Mm -hmm. And I like that Cheto took the, uh, you know, aggressive approach, but we didn't engage in button pressing. We just took some space. Unfortunately, we get cracked open, and, uh, oh, okay. SQ not going to push past the 6H there. And, uh, oh, what a BRC into a back throw incident for Cheto here. Really big for the momentum. Going to not go through the wall. We just want to keep the corner. Oh wow. my goodness, catching the back dash on SQ. I thought wow. he was going to be safe, but breaking the glass, it's an emergency for SQ. Cheto bringing it back, gets the first round of game two. That was beautiful, and oh no, strike throw. Here we go, SQ getting it going. Cheto back to the wall against Ramlethal, not where you want to be, especially with no meter. Calvados is just going to chunk the King's life bar here. Doesn't matter how many guts you got when there's 80 hits available. SQ jumping wow. into the 2S for another perfect. The second one, just this set. Yeah, that is absolute comfort in the matchup, it feels like. That being said, Cheto, undeterred, unfazed. We get in there for the pressure. Oh, nice. Oh, nice counter move. Oh, gold burst, though. Indeed. 100 meter on SQ. Not what you want to see if you're Cheto. Beautiful little side swap there. Going to get the wall and uh, break through it. Here we go. Not gonna spend the meter. Routing, go into the 6H, you have to maintain that distance because you know these Leo players, as soon as they get the opening, they have the opportunity to rob you. Burst comes out, but nice 5K to stop the approach. Throw still coming out from Chato, that puts you mm. <laughs> mm, the, the The Mortal <laughs> Bato classic, the Ram Lethal Special. I got 50 meter, you better come correct because if not, I'm gonna collect the last bits of your life bar and another point on the board really really good stuff from sq wow
Wow, yeah, what a mortal battle. First round, looking so strong for Cheto, but still SQ undeterred. Maybe looking for the first 3-0 in our top eight so far. Of course, yeah. we can't count out Cheto. Had a few opportunities there, but really, SQ is just so comfortable with stuffing out every approach mm -hmm. option that he's trying to get, even on, on the offense. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely a level of uh, reads and comfortability that we're seeing uh, that normally, you know, don't doesn't happen as rapidly as this so sq definitely been putting in the work on the leo matchup and uh burst comes out from chetto trying to get things going life bars about even until that counter hit connected home on the king's Ooh. ankles here okay route into the daro really just trying to go for this uh you know trying to go for the corner carry you don't get the hard knockdown off of the reka you gotta optimize some other way. 100 meter, you gotta be scared of the mortar bottom, but you gotta know which way to put it in. The cross ups now! Oh, PRC to avoid oh the my fairy. Goodness. SQ! Wow, that was really good. And the PRC from Cheto to keep that safe. What an interaction. And we're right back in the corner, Blender. Good FD to keep the spacing out of Cheto's favor there. Yep, swiping at the ground. 2S. Been trying to play a little too aggressive and getting caught out by SQ every time. Maybe just trying to hold that space. You might be holding this corner though. Oh, grab off of the jump S. No confirm from SQ a little bit too high and Cheto takes another round. Wow, that was really nice. Really, really great stuff. SQ coming into this round with a burst though. So there is that get out of jail three card on the table right now. But will Cheto be able to bait it? No, we get back to neutral and uh, we clash with the big sword swing. Cheto is feral right now. We go in with the Berserker Slash and we do not stop. Really, really good stuff. Really good stuff. All pulling up with the plus frames on the flip kick, but you get the opening. Okay, yep. Cancel off of the second Rekka. Keep up that corner pressure. 100% meter to be able to keep yourself safe, but Cheto's got some bar as well. Oh, the corner pressure. What a shimmy to bait out the throw, and Cheto forced a burst to keep the round going yrc get off of me 5d and cheto trying to put it away here not gonna yo it is gonna be enough okay sorry i'm sorry i, I was just, scared you know, I, I was scared i was so doing scared. a lot less damage i thought the scaling was gonna make it like oh you get the soft knockdown with that pixel mm -hmm. health robbery about to be stopped but unfortunately it was in progress the perpetrator has gotten away with it and cheto Indeed. has a game on the board it could be the beginning of the reverse sweep or it could be mm -hmm. a single game stopping sq from this 3-1 let's see indeed but uh you know that momentum shift it doesn't seem like it m might not mean much but just even a single game can change so much on your mental stack so it's going to be interesting to see if sq can uh, keep the tide in their favor here so far starting off strong not getting the burst yet but the counter hit 2d forces sq to burst to keep the pressure situation on chetto in the corner here 6p get off of me Yep, cross up to get out of the corner, put you into it as well. So much damage off of this wall break, but not going to go for the super. Just maintain the uh, the extra meter you got in the bank. Indeed, doing a really good job. I, I like Cheto's use of the 6P so far too. Really starting to call out the big swing and swords with it. And this is another wall break into another positive bonus situation for Cheto. Really cooking in this round so far. But we get the toes clip and SQ gets the offense going. Woo! Off to a good start, optimizing with these flip kick combos here, just trying to make it back. Chet, though, okay. it's your game to lose. Nice. Okay, H move PRC, keep yourself safe. All right, I like it. Yeah. Really, really good stuff. Pull up behind the fireball, and you got a nice little whip punish there. Ooh, 6 feet oh, get off me. gonna catch you out here. Oh, 5 feet though. Off of the scramble afterwards, forcing out the burst, but 5 H into the counter hits. Gonna get that little Daro knockdown. The plus frames, not quite the knockdown. But, you know, just an advantageous situation. Stuck in the corner here. Oh, my goodness. Mortal Bato. Not going to be enough. The King's Health Plan coming in clutch here. DP get off me right into the RC. Why RC to keep the pressure? SQ really does not want the King to play here. And I do not blame them at all. Yep, Chateau trying to dash out of the corner. Got the perfect spacing between the H sword and the... Oh, no! But the wow. first is going to catch you out. The 2S before whiffing on the dash block. So great adaptation from SQ saying, all right, I'm not going to leave any ground space uncovered. Pulling up here, and we are at set point for SQ. Indeed, and Chateau whiffing a throw, forcing the burst. And uh, here we go. Trying to get back in on neutral. All right, back throw incident gets it started. Stuck in the corner here. Going to be the 2S wall splat. Once again, not opting to go into the super confirm. Just keep up that meter. 
All right, no burst to get the king out of dodge here. Nice, tried to run out, but the 2D got clipped. Yep, the lights coming out from SQ are so good right now, but getting supered out of your corner. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Wow, no the burst. <laughs> The burst comes out from SQ, and that is Cheto saying, DP, Ooh. get off of me. Tying it up, bringing it to yet another game fight. Oh what is God. this top eight, Jesu? Cheto was so pissed. He was like, I've been working on that confirmed for at least 15 minutes. I was so excited to show the homies over at Nine Moons, and you had that to was burst. Ridiculous. I can't make the clip now. That's it. I'm DPing. How dare, how dare you not let me get my Twitter clip? Hold this, DP. Hold it. Oh my god. Held it was holding on to this set here, getting another game and tying it up 2-2. Two, two. They they just want to give us as much guilty gear action as possible. Another game five is on the way here. SQ versus Cheto. Cheto looking to bring the set back. That is that was crazy. And I'm I love these game five situations because you know you said it earlier. We saw MFCR go up on CPU two games, and then all of a sudden we were looking at a game five. And here we are yet again, SQ looking really strong. That being said, Cheto holding on. Yep. Gila on the chat saying that jump PX6 carry sometimes randomly passes through burst. Why do you know that? <laughs> I'm so glad you know that. Oh, H boom here. No burst available for Cheto. Just trying to play a little footsies game. Not getting stuffed out on the approach, but you are stuck in the pressure. Nice dash blocks. Oh, great throw tech as well. Cheto really just trying to get up in SQ's face, and now it works. Oh, here we go. Nice little back throw incident. Oh, so nice. We throw her twice into the super. Yep, get some plus frames off of this, even if it wasn't actually on hit the IB, but still stuck in the corner here. First came out from SQ. We're back to neutral, but a nice little trade gets the pressure going. Cheto forced to block here. Yep, pushed over to the corner with these sword tosses. Cheto not trying to commit to the air approach, but RC off of the Berserker slash. Yup, maybe bait out a throw there as well with the instant jump D. Oh my goodness, the guard point coming in clutch there, getting Ramlethal pushed to the wall, but tried to get out with the YRC, but the P normals just coming out from the king. Cheto locking it up, and now Cheto sitting on match point here. 6P, the round start off. Wow, love to see it. Oh no, the 2S, a little bit of a whiff there, but SQ still trying to keep up the pressure. Cross up, gonna get you out of the corner, but Facto's gonna put you back in. SQ saying you cannot escape. Another throw. Wow, nice backdash there, but we're still not out of dodge yet. And SQ just putting the pressure on. DP, get off of me at whiffs, and we go right into the Calvados. This is huge damage coming for the king. You know, I've seen so many Twitter clips. The younger, your more foolish Jetsu would think that that wouldn't kill the Calvados. Cranks, especially with the wall break. We are here last round, game five. Cheto has burst available. SQ about to build it up, but you have to stall out long enough. Stuck in the corner pressure situation here, though. Nice fireball. 6P not going to connect. We're just going to get out of the corner. Cheto gets clipped by the sword toss and forced to burst there. Yep, 2K, 2D. Start out the pressure with the Rekkas. Maybe trying to keep it safe in case there was a gap that Cheto was looking to DP. But look how much screen space Cheto's been able to take off that. Indeed. And we're in the corner. We get clipped. Burst not coming out for SQ there. Good patience. I like the shimmy. Cheto not going to bite on the throw bait there either. Really, really good stuff. I'm liking oh. the back and forth we're seeing, and the burst comes out from SQ. It's still anybody's game. One clean t touch on either side can put this away. Yep, you gotta be careful. We have the meter available. This oh, should be no. able to kill. Just go into the Mortimato. Cower cancel it as well, just for a little extra style. Not oh, even gonna no. let you get the super animation off Cheto. Falls to SQ, unable to get the reverse sweep. And that is going to be 3 2 SQ moving on to losers semifinals. Definitely wow. don't want to scorch your CPUs at all. It's bad time, bad vibes. But we got good vibes right now here in losers quarterfinals CPU versus Umi Show. Getting it underway, getting it going. 6P, get off of me. Good anti here coming out from Umi Show. And we're already through the wall in a positive bonus situation. Yep, we got the JTG homies supporting CPU in the chat. Honored Ogre, I see you. But Umi Show got that steady AMC CPU as well, just shooting you straight out of the sky. All right, <laughs> big poke gonna connect, but the burst gonna stop the fishing pole from reeling Umi Show in. Oh nope. no, gonna get caught out of the front. No, 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 wow. no, no. Wow, 6P, curse <gasps> ball, 6P. Wow, what, what a sequence. And then just 
Way to keep it locked down. CPU not able to get in there at all. Big poke coming out though. Umi Shell gonna get pushed towards the wall here. Yeah, I can't believe it. The range on the J2K actually reaching so far that it hit the clone behind Umi Show. The first is gonna get baited. Umi Show is off to another great round here. Should be able mm -hmm. to get the wall break. Oh, and just enough meter. The Deus X as well. Yeah, absolutely. Gonna bust through the wall. Positive bonus situation. And CPU gonna have to work in with less than 30% life. And there goes most of the meter. So definitely gonna have to make the most out of this here. Gonna give Happy Chaos a haircut and get it going. Oh, Not just going to go for that fuzzy. Everybody gets opened up by it, but in the mid screen, it's a little awkward to confirm off of, right? So CPU finally just waiting for the next scramble. Mix, mix, mix. It's got all the hits in the world. No, oh, but not quite able to confirm into the wall splat. Feed 6P right into the mix, mix, mix. Umi show just back dashing away from our problems. <clears throat> it's, uh... I thought it was an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but it turns out, chap, we were wrong the whole time. It's a backdash a day keeps the uh, doctor at bay. And uh, Umi Show showing us the way there. Really nice stuff. Taking game one over CPU. The Ferrari pulling up, outrunning the ambulance. The doctor is not going to be able to catch up here. We saw a little bit of that, you know, season one style happy chaos there, mm -hmm. right? The pixel health and the very low meter situation from CPU. There's not much you can do aside from some crazy gamble to try and get in from the full screen there. So Indeed. game one over to Umi Show, but we are seeing some good choices in the neutral coming out from CPU, really just trying to swing. But of course, the six P's, you know, great counter pokes coming out from Umi Show. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And, uh, you know, CPU, like if you if you follow them on Twitter, um, they're definitely one of the, the believers that Faust can truly prosper in the in the Happy Chaos matchup, like mm -hmm. truly one to not fear the Happy Chaos and uh, CPU is just beating that drum. So I'm honestly like bias aside, you know, I'm honestly hoping to see a little bit of what they're, you know, what they're spitting, what they're bringing to the table here, because right now Umi show is just locking it up, forcing the burst out almost immediately here in game two. And uh, we're rocking and rolling, breaking the toes right through the wall. Yep, not quite enough meter to go for that metered wall break. The Deus Ex not available, but oh my god, look at the meter just built up on block for CPU here. Or against CPU, rather, Umi Show. Not that full tension that... And that's death. We're not even going to see the positive bonus. Oh my yeah, god. that's that's just death. Seven golden letters instead of the positive bonus. We see imperfection, not positive. Mm -hmm. I had to keep in mind the risk. It was so cranked off of that wall sequence. All right, Umi Show once again off to a great start. Gets the knockout. Gonna get opened up by that little Goomba stomp overhead. Indeed, the, G the, the 2K going to whiff, forcing CPU to burst, and Umi Show with a nice BRC to block the mix, mix, mix. Oh, I like get to off land this steady aim, wait for the reticle to get on the screen, and that's going to be the last gunshot. A quick Indeed. game two over to Umi Show. Yeah, Umi Show is cooking right now and really putting all the pressure on CPU to perform here. And... Uh, you hate to see it, you know, CPU really being strangled out of almost every approach option. And then we're seeing some unfortunate uh, situations where CPU does get the hit, but then the confirms that are normally there just slightly too outspaced or just 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 small opportunities that are just snowballing into big Umi show wins. So uh, hopefully CPU can stop the bleeding here, but two life bars is not a lot to lean on. Not against happy chaos. Yep, and if you're not able to get that clean conversion, you know, Umi show very comfortable in the scramble. And of course, you have the uh, the lights coming out from Happy Chaos, the 2P, 5P, and that 2K, all great buttons that have the gunshot behind them to be able to convert into whatever situation you want. Counter hit JD forces out the YRC from CPU. All right, here we go. And CPU getting a nice pressure sequence going, really challenging the runouts of the corner. Not going to get the back dash chase down, but uh, Umi Show really having to just defend and block it out. Burst comes out. We believe in the round. 2K slides under the far slash, and Umi Show going to put the pressure on here. Yep, the dash cancel goes unchecked, but it's so scary, right? There's so many ways for Happy Chaos to just make everything a frame trap. You got to be careful of the gun at all times. Stuck at the full screen, but you have a decent amount of meter to mitigate the chip, but it's not going to help when you get opened up the Bombo. A double dash cancel into the wall splat. That's going to take it. We are at set point for Umi. Yeah. And, th and this is, and you know, this is the first time, like, first time really that it's been like believable that we might see a true 3-0 situation because there's been cool. a distinct lack of back and forth that we've seen everywhere else tonight umi show is just 
really showcasing a massive amount of comfortability in this matchup and look at that life bar melt away yep go for the same jump no super available for cpu using the meter to try and unhand umi show from this pressure to go 5k 6k close slash 6k that's gonna open you up concentration super all you oh ip let me show let me show with the well you know you can't take that meter to the next set you might as well just spend it yeah. you know make it rain a little bit nubenheimer and razo who do you yeah, think's got this one the... jay i don't know it's difficult now i know <laughs> that both of these characters definitely have the two swords it's the only thing that matters in the matchup it's the number of weapons you got on deck so you know it should be a quote-unquote even matchup oh but Nubenheimer already pushing Razo over to the corner here. The DP, you have oh, that defensive no. option, but it doesn't matter when Nubenheimer knows exactly when you're feeling pressure to use it. Indeed, and that was a really, really good sequence for Nubenheimer and a massive unfortunate event for Razo. Gonna live through it, though. It's good to be the king with the royal health plan, you know, but those slash normals gonna start chipping out. But DP get off me, starts things off for Razo. Yup, this could be the robbery in progress. It's a five-piece situation. That's all that Nubenheimer needs to be able to bring the round back. But still, Razo is running absolutely wild. Yup, route up into the RC, keep it first safe. And Nubenheimer is actually gonna hold wow. on to the burst here. Good, good stuff. I, I I, like the patience. I like the patience there from Nubenheimer because imagine the situation where Nubenheimer bursts, but Razo was waiting for it, kept it burst safe, so Nubenheimer loses the round and the burst. Now we have it at least for round two here, and uh, we have forced the burst off of Razo. So uh, Nubenheimer making moves, trying to keep that blood from popping, doing a good job with the slash almost Beautiful backdash, BRCs over the boom, and here we are, corner pressure. Let's get it. Yep, stuck in the corner once again. That jump H gonna recover so much blood. Look, Nubenheimer has a little bit to work with here. It's 2S5H. It got a little bit nerfed, but that doesn't mean it's still not strong. The short sword to take it. Close slash tying up the round count. Yeah, really good stuff. Nubenheimer able to finish the plate this time, but 2D starting things off counter hit style for Razo, putting Nubenheimer in the corner. We're gonna slice open the ankles, force the burst out, and we are back to neutral. Throwing out these swords a little bit, trying to catch somebody, you know, maybe mashing, doing a little bit of a bar, eh? Indeed, and uh, nice little RC, get the corner pressure going. Razo stealing the corner. Strike throw, here we go, and only one yes. guest left available, and there it was. Blinking, you missed it. Nubenheimer falling in game one to Razo here in Winners Finals. I cannot believe that didn't cross up. I really thought I saw the step yeah. coming out from Razo. And then as soon as Nubenheimer got back up, it was like, oh, I was on the mm -hmm. same side the whole time. I don't know why yep. you thought it was over there. I'm actually Before. over here. That's it's so it weird me. that you thought that. It's like, bro, the cross. Oh. what is going on? We got the Leo stand popping up behind you, just disappears with that TP. I'm like, okay, Razo, I see. You got the game shark going on. I understand. But going into the game too, let's see if Nubenheimer is able to bring it back. Oh my goodness, you thought it was me, same side, but it was cross up the whole time. And uh, Nubenheimer getting schmixed here and uh, trying to work out with the Abare 5k, but we're gonna get some plus frames with the super here. Razzo shimmying the socks off of the samurai there, getting a nice little throw bait. Guard point locking up any attempts at Abare there, and really it is all Razzo right now. Not gonna get the RC extension. Nice IB trying to keep this mid screen screen space, but the cross through from the full screen just says, Oh, you think I'm gonna 2D? Uh, I'm just gonna pull up behind you. You're playing a little too patient for my tastes. Pulling up with the wait, the, the instant jump oh, IBFD. My goodness. Oh my yep. goodness. Okay, we bait bursts in this house, but we get back thrown for the trouble. And that is gonna be a big counter hit for Razo. Nubenheimer really in the blender, but the big body back dash into a back throw incident starts things off strong for Nubenheimer in the corner here. Yup, sometimes that's all you need, but the BRC back dash into the jump P. Another cross through. You can't trust any of these back throw incidences. These players are too strong to get one chance by it, but the burst gotta come out sometime, and Razo was ready for it on the way down. On the way over to grand finals, just needs wow. one more 2 0 oh right now over Indeed. Nubenheimer. And uh, it's it, it's looking like the power couple here trying to set up back to back 3 0 situations, and. Uh, Razo is absolutely cooking with fire right now, and Nubenheimer is, uh, you know, getting rotisseried, if you will. <clears throat> All right, heading into the game three. Let's see if Razo's able to close out the second 3 0. 
of the top eight. Nine Moons Weekly, number 45, or if Nubenheim is going to be able to fight back. Nice damage, getting out the burst from Razo. It's still scary, though. You got that 50% HP, and Leo is a relatively tanky fellow. Might be able to survive a few more situations. Oh my goodness, 5P into the DP. We get some Oki situation. YRC, get off. I mean, Nubenheim wants to keep the pressure, wants to keep the momentum. Does not want to let the King play the game. Leo should not be allowed to play. Case in point, forces the burst off with a 2K, 2D. Nubenheimer trying to stay in the driver's seat, but the 6P stops the jump in, and this could be big for Razo. Oh, PRC trying to, you know, catch out any throw whips, maybe any 5Ps as well, but Nubenheimer going to open you back up into the 5D. Yup, get wow. the optimal airtime, but it's the magic not enough. Pixel? Wow, oh, but the... no RC to cancel this one. Wow, that was absolutely crazy. The King absolutely hanging on for dear life, but it wasn't going to be enough. Oh, oh my goodness. into the, the jump D, the instant, maybe looking for a throw whip there and absolutely coming up huge. Oh my goodness, a back throw incident off the cross through. We stay same side, we break the ankles, and this is absolutely crazy stuff we're seeing from Razo here. Yep, she's trying to bring it back. Said, all right, the 3-0 dream. I need to beat Umi Show in the grands, and I got to make it there. Don't want to have to take them out in the loser's side. Going for the double cross through, but still the defense from Nubenheimer. Able to keep him in for one more round. Back throw incident. Razo, DP, RC available. Indeed, oh, the 2S and the 5H. Nagaryuki Classic, Ooh, RC is available. And then the Shizuri Yuki finishes it with a wall break. And the Royal Health Plan is not going to be enough to uh, hold out, and that is gonna be Nubenheimer putting a breadstick on the board and stopping the 3-0 situation in its tracks. Nubenheimer saying, all right, I get it. You know, I guess the, I guess wrong a few times, maybe a few mm -hmm. too many times in that back turn stance, but I'm not gonna make it easy for you. No, 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 no 3-0 for this start.gg page. And if you guys wanna keep track, you know, we don't have that many people left in the bracket, but just in case you wanna see it for yourselves, we got the bracket link in the chat over here, heading back into game four. Indeed, and the guard point paying dividends, but so does that 5k. Like, the Nagariyuki 5k has, it, it gives certain far slash normals a run for its money. Uh, it is, I love that button. Uh, what I love to see too is Leo pressure in the corner. Burst in the bag, please. This is a robbery. A royal robbery, ladies and gentlemen. Right through the wall into a positive bonus situation. And Razo, oh. tap 5Ds. Puts Nubenheimer on match life bar. This is scary stuff. Yep, and Razo just playing so aware of that burst gauge. The RC to keep it burst safe on that hit, but even if you continue the combo, right? You waited for the burst, it was still burst safe, but forcing out Razo's in the corner here, still stuck. Trying to look for that cross through an opportunity to get out here, but Nubenheimer playing safe. Adding a little bit of these micro blocks in between the block string to try and bait something out here, still stuck. It's so difficult to escape. All right, I like the Berserker Slash, but we're not going to get much off of it. Finally, getting in there, crushing the toes, and getting it started. Razo, strike throw, here we go. It begins. We're in the blender, not where you want to be. Once again, strike throw, here we go. Gets the slide through, and then the 5D is blocked. Good defense from Neubenheimer. Wow. The back throw incident going to put our problems away here, and Neubenheimer stays in it another round. Oh my god, clip that. The defense coming up from Nubenheimer says, I'm tired of getting opened up. I am going to defend and hold my ground. Bring you to another round here, trying to get the 2-2 tied up. We're off to a great start to it. Indeed, the Royal Health Plan in the gut's going to come in clutch right there, but only so much life left for Razzo. Oh, the burst comes down. Really good stuff. DB, get off of me. But Nubenheimer was ready, and that is going to be the game five situation you all know and love that we have seen so many times this evening yep just like i can't escape my fellow don't care bear my homie on the mic we can't escape the game five situation when we're at wow. nine moons right we're in the top 6.1 percent of this 113 player bracket of course the upper echelon is gonna bring it to the game five more times than we can count Finally, Indeed. these clashes of the Titans really bringing us to an amazing winner's finals, and we are going into oh, game yeah. five. Let's see which swordsman is going to be able to make it over to the grand finals winner's side, and who's going to have to fight the winner of Umisho versus SQ. Yeah, that's, uh, man, what a, 
What a high train we have rolling. We just gotta, just gotta keep it going and maybe it'll just pop off the rails like Nubenheimer trying to pomp out of this pressure with the burst there. And uh, nice use of spacing to avoid the guard point and uh, really just punish Razo for even attempting there. Yep, that level two blood, Nubenheimer is super comfortable with it. He doesn't mind that defense modifier, right? Because he's mm -hmm. able to play at this optimal positioning. The two S5H wow. coming up so huge. And this is actually set point for Nubenheimer, was so behind for so long. Bringing it back against Razo, able to get the first knockdown. Indeed, all right. What a beautiful throw on the pass through attempt. And Nubenheimer says, you gotta come at me with some new stuff. Make it mix. 2S, 5H, really into the blood-sucking <laughs> universe. It is Nago party time in the corner. You do not want to get hit by that command grab when your back's against the wall. And Razo really having to showcase the defensive abilities right now. 5D blocked. Beautiful stuff so far. Oh, my goodness. But the DP comes out, and so does the burst. Put the set in the bag. This is an absolute devastating robbery. The royal treasuries have been pilfered thoroughly and completely and that is going to be razzo going down to the losers bracket here in winners finals to nubenheimer who just manages to lock it up mm -hmm. let's see it we got the gun versus the sword fight but it might be a little more even than you think pulling up here able to get the first knockdown for umi show breaks the wall into that positive bonus indeed and uh it is it is truly terrifying winner side umi show is scary but Less than fortunate bracket Umi show is truly terrifying. Like the 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 Zenkai boost that she manages to pick up off of this bracket is huge. So I'm really excited to see if SQ can get the momentum and really run with it because so far what we'll see is Umi show sit and block everything you throw at her and then suddenly you're two K'd getting shot and then the round is over. Burst in the oh bag. My God, the Oh my goodness, my third eye is open. It's like I'm seeing the future, chat. Look at that. I spoke and it happened. Damn. Instinct. Umi show in the loser what? side. And like you were saying, some players, you know, they feel the pressure of, okay, if I lose this set, I am out of the bracket. But Umi show in the winner's bracket, you know, obviously doing so good. She's the base Goku, but as soon as you get down into the loser side, that's the ultra instinct. She is pulling up, avoiding these projectiles, but still the throw. I'm gonna get you off your game here. 2K2D reverses the situation. FD to try and stop the pressure. Indeed, nice block on the first roll through from SQ, but the second one hits home. Oh, the Dowro whiffs, but we pick our turn right back up. And uh, now SQ getting the corner pressure, but no, the BRC from Umi Show glides out of the danger zone. The danger zone, trying to get in here with the BRC Immortal Yo! Yo! Catching Umi Show out of maybe a 2K match, trying wow. to stop the approach there, but SQ not even gonna give you a second to breathe. More the bottom tying up the round count here. No burst available on either side, but 5D gets the knockdown. That was insane. 2K, 2D, and a nice little juicy reload for Umi Show. Right into a throw incident. We counter with the 5H gunshot on the whiff throw into a slump situation, and Umi Show is cooking with gas right now. And look at the burst safe route into the Deus Ex. Oh my goodness, they don't call her the gunslinger goddess for no reason, chat. The Messiah is on deck here. Maybe going for a jump. He thought you were gonna go for a throw, but the perfect comes out regardless. 5B wow. stopping these BRC shenanigans. That's the second time we've seen that route from Umisho, right? Pull you wow. out of the corner and just go coast to coast. I don't want this mm -hmm. normal wall break. I want to use every yeah. bullet in the chamber to get that wall break. Get as much meter as possible, and you're gonna do Deus Ex after anyway, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you use all the resources you got, you have enough time to be able to recover it. First yeah. game over to Umi Show. Yeah, and, and, and for all the stuff that did get stated there, we're also not, you know, talking about the optimization on top of it because, yeah, you're not taking that normal wall break at five hits. You're getting double that, all that life, and you put the round away. Really, really nice stuff from Umi Show. And a good burst coming out from SQ to stop the bleeding there early. But the anti-air 5P from Umi Show picking it right back up and putting on the corner pressure cooker. Yep, SQ struggling a little bit to get out of this corner. I like the defense. Just hold it down back. Wait for Umi Show to do something a little bit risky. You've been representing the mash a little bit too often. Yep, just go for the ID out of the corner. But that 2K is going to low profile your aerial. You hate to see it. That JD vacuum up the pressure here this should be able to kill and 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 uh oh my goodness another another one put away by the 5p 
That damn punch button. Gotta unbind it for Ubi Show. That was, that's what would really nerf her. You don't even need to nerf Happy Chaos. Just make her 5B input unavailable. But pulling up into the throw here. Oh my goodness, the Happy Chaos corner pressure situation. It's 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 nearly as, if not more, degenerate than the Ram pressure situation. And uh, we all know how that turns out. Burst in the bag! Who do you think you're fighting? This is this is the inventor of magic. You're going to have to you know pull something else out of the bag Wait, there because we're going into the next no. game. Seven golden letters for the Gunslinger Goddess here. Is Umi Show gonna get two, three O's in a row? Said Razo. I see you in losers finals. I don't want to keep you waiting. It's a bit rude of me for the delays. Let me make my way over there as Man. soon as possible. And SQ really just struggling to get out of these offensive situations, right? Umi mm -hmm. Show just doing such a great job of scrambling into that first knockdown. And then as soon as you get there, you know Ram doesn't have that meterless reversal. We have the Mortabato, but you have to build up enough meter to get there, right? And if Umi mm -hmm. Show is comboing you, you know, for eighty percent of your life, you. Don't don't have a lot of interactions to do it yep and then we saw in the first game we saw umi show just sit and block a bunch of stuff out and play pressure uh play patient but now it's just been pressure cooker sequence after pressure cooker sequence that being said sq gets things started really nicely early on here in game three this could be the momentum shift we need Yep, and we are no stranger to the reverse sweep over here. We just saw one with Nubenheimer, so not counting SQ out here. Look at the 100 meter already on her side. Indeed, and we are still putting on a corner situation, but the gun draw counter hit, huge for Happy Chaos, and now 100 tension on either side of the battlefield. No burst coming out yet. There it is! <laughs> oh, getting burst baited, and that is Mortobato putting the round away, and that is a huge misstep from Umi Show there. Yep, first round on the board for SQ, able to make it with your burst available as well. Happy Chaos, you know, lots of strong moves to be able to contest the neutral, but you do not have a lot of health. You are not going to be able to build up the burst here, forcing it out from SQ as well. Not in a super bad situation. Stuck in the corner, though. Oh man, wall slump mix incoming. Strike throw, here we go. 50% tension available. BRC instant overhead at the ready. Blast our problems into the next round. Good stuff. Yep, set point for Umisha right now. Just needs one more round to move on to losers finals. But SQ pushing you over to the corner here. The jump out, but it's not going to let you escape the corner too. S doesn't quite link into the sword toss though. Oh my goodness, the counter hit Goomba Stomp getting it going for Umi Show. Counter hit 2S back to back. Great starters. And this nice little Abare 2K coming out. We whiffed the Dowro. We've seen that twice tonight. I'm I, I'm not a Ramlethal player. I'm almost wondering if that's an, a, a setup to, to really uh, get some cheeky stuff going. Because we've seen it twice. Umi Show's managed yeah. to block it both times. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's looking intentional at this point. Oh no, and it's a pixel health situation. The BRC straight down to the gun. Maybe trying to bait out an anti here, but no pickup off of the sword hit there. Unfortunate. Maybe not ready to convert. Just trying to go for this shimmy situation. I saw the Twitter clip SQ. You're trying to get another. Trying to get the sequel here. 50% meter available. Eight sword toss oh, in the corner. The throw takes it. SQ. Lord. One game on the board. We got the breadstick, and you know what that means, chat. You know, you know, you know what that means. That uh the the cracks in the armor are showing it means that you know truly the goddess can bleed and you know if you can make goddess bleed you could probably you know maybe clutch it out we've seen it time and time again here and umi show gonna be denied that second 3-0 absolutely heading into the game four here umi show not not the 3-0 situation she was looking for still looking so clean but that counter hit 5-h Forcing out the burst here. One defensive resource off the table. Jump P to force you into the corner. Beautiful shimmy from SQ on the throw. And we're going to keep this corner pressure going. Good FD from Umi Show here. Nice run out. But the J5P, SQ answering right back saying, hey, you're not the only one who can do this. And uh, Mortobato really going to get it going for SQ here. Huge momentum right now for Ramlethal. And uh, Windshield Wiper is going to clean the screen and put us right into the next round. Clean up the round, bring us into round two. Far Slash, though, on the round start. Going to be a huge counter hit to force you into the corner. The positive bonus that Happy Chaos wants. Got to have that Deus Ex Machina available at all times. Concentration if you need it, too. 2 k 2 d Indeed, and uh, Happy Chaos, 100 meter. Not going to spend it. Umi Show sending a message. 
And what an anti-air 5P coming out from SQ. And uh, nice confirm here. Going to go all the way to the wall. And then some. Yep, no meter for the super confirm, but that's okay. 100% meter on the side of Umi Show, so it's really scary here, though, right? The clone PRC, 5D doesn't even need the meter to confirm off it. Okay, go into the concentration super. Wow. Just Wow, it was like doing negative damage. By the end of that combo, mm -hmm. it was basically healing SQ. But once that again, was... at that point for Umi Show. Indeed, massive scaling, but yeah, that last pixel of life not going to be enough, and now SQ really going to have to work. And now we're seeing a nice keep away from Umi Show. Finally, like to pull up, but got called out for it, and a big damage headed her <gasps> way. Gold burst going to get blocked, but not punished, and a big counter hit into Mortal Bato. How the tables have tabled, and now Umi Show on the back foot here. And oh, there the it is! Sibling taking oh your turn my SQ. goodness! I up the set count. Is this gonna be another Nubenheimer situation? The sword available here. Is it gonna slice your way to the reverse sweep? Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe my eyes. What what have we just witnessed here? Another game five situation. Are you kidding me? Another one on the cusp of a 3-0 situation. And now we're looking at yet another potential reverse sweep. And not just not just on anybody, on Umi Show in loser's bracket. SQ really gotta be feeling good right now. That oh, being said, the throw oh. an unfortunate start to the game. SQ feeling herself a little bit too much, right? She had the download at these past couple games. Check that connection test. She got the gigabit up and down, but Umi Show pulling back up here for such a great start. Oh my goodness, and Umi Show Deus Ex. We're no stranger to danger here, but we are going to be put in a positive bonus Oki situation, and SQ, very little life to lean on right now. No negative penalty, but that health pool looking negative, almost air block on the YRC. Not going to be able to start our pressure, but pushes you out to the optimal range, right? Happy Chaos is perfectly wow. fine. Staying at the full screen, not going to use the burst because the life lead is so huge. Umi Show, once again on set point, are you going to be finally able to close it out? No, oh, Umi Show is just assembled alternatively. Runs up, does the shimmy that you would expect to see for a throw bait, but no, it was calling out the backdash using that 5H, and wow, what a way to get into the set point situation. We roll through our problems, we roll them out, and 2P our problems into the corner. Deus Ex through the wall, and this is bad news for SQ right now. The stop, drop, and roll gets you that positive bonus. Hard knockdown. So much meter about to be available for Umi Show, but just chilling out, right? You don't have the 50% meter just yet. You are fine with playing passive, tries to go for the burst bait, but still a little bit too close. Indeed. Oh, we get clipped overhead, and Umi Show forced to burst here, trying to keep the momentum. Does not want SQ to claw back into this one. And this is big. That's probably going to be it. Drop opportunities aside. Yep, there it is. Umi Show putting it away three to two over SQ and moving in to losers finals. Okay. Yeah. You guys can't Ayo. see it on your screen just yet, but you are yeah. about to transition into quite an interesting character, not the Leo we were thinking of. Indeed, I, I'm not I was, I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody. I'm not even gonna say anything, uh, nothing. All right. Hey, Geos Mios, we're gonna be seeing the Geopana against the Happy Chaos. Razzo pulling up here with the quote unquote counter pick. Got the dash Maybe. box available. Okay, here we go. And uh, I'm liking the pressure from Umi Show here. Tried and true happy chaos tech and the spiral arrow gets the plus frames going for Razo. We started off strong, strike throw, here we go. Oh, big counter hit close slash into a beautiful super and that is happy chaos, oh, lifeless in the first round. The Geo counter pick looking pretty strong here. Didn't need it before to be able to 3 2 Umi Show, but you know, sometimes you gotta pull out the extra characters. You know, you got them in the back. Throw Umi Show off her game. And then, even if you do lose and move over to the Leo, right, you have to adapt to those multiple play styles. And that's another thing to add on to Umi Show's mental stack. Burst still unavailable. Indeed, and uh, Razo is cooking with the strike throw game. Giovanna looking real strong. The 2K finally connects from Umi Show, but not a lot of life to lean on. And we're really going to have to see Umi Show be great on the defense. And uh, Burst is going to come out. Yep, yep. One pixel left. We're going to shoot the spiral arrow and take our turn back. Oh, Umi Show, if you're able to bring this back, you are absolutely insane. The slowdown of the BRC, stopping the Abari attempt from Razo. Not going to get the wall break here. Go for the safe jump. Don't need it for the super, but just trying to start up that pressure. The Kara cancels into the gun. 
DRC into the lows. Nice defense from Razo so far, blocking it out and uh, just holding on for dear life in the gun pressure here. Risk is cranked to the maximum right now. Umi Show going to be looking for that one clean hit, but all Geo needed was that nice little 5P elbow action. And Razo going to take game one here in Losers Finals. Mm -mm -mm. The Geo counterpick looking strong here. I don't know. Maybe we'll see Umi Show have a counterpick of her own. We mm -hmm. have seen her, you know, move to some other characters, especially against yeah. the, the Razo matchup in particular. So let's see how hard they want to party on this Saturday night. Nope, sticking All on right. the happy chaos, going back into it. Yeah, this is uh, that's good stuff. Really, really good stuff. And uh, man, we're seeing we're seeing a really, really great play style coming out from Razo here. We're seeing a ton of five H's and far slashes connect with with two K's from Umi Show. So really, really leaning on that uh, speed that Geo brings to the table. <clears throat> oh, whiff throw, forcing the burst off of Umi Show here, and a trade situation not gonna work out for Razo there. Pulling up, getting so much screen space right now. Umi Show, no burst available on either side. So much meter. Just trying to open up with these strike throw frame traps, though. Umi Show takes her turn back. 5D opens you back up. This is going to be the Deus Ex Machina, and it should be able to kill with the wall break. Indeed. Oh, what the Geo defense one? No, no, no. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. You know, I always uh, it, it gets slept on a lot. Giovanna <laughs> does get that that defensive buff when she's at 50 tension and 100 tension. So you gotta gotta be aware. But uh, you know, when the when the gun shots are that good, you just don't even gotta calculate. Burst coming out from Razo, trying to stop the bleeding here and uh, get the pressure going on Umi Show here in game two. Really wants to climb up to a 2-0 situation. Up, pulling oh my god it actually killed these short hit confirms just doing so much damage you got to make sure no proration available let all the damage rock on that super round over the raza indeed good back dash with a 5h gunshot gonna be there from umi show we roll out through our problems and a nice little cross up to keep the corner pressure beautiful block on the roll through from razo but it's not gonna get through the second time and a nice far slash to take the turn back Oh, pull up into the throw once again, just bringing Umisho over to the corner. Might have caught an RC attempt. I thought I saw that little after image coming out here, but you are stuck in the metered wall break situation, pulling up with the five Bs. Gotta be careful of that chip damage as well. 50% meter allows her normals to start doing that chip damage. Indeed, and Umisho rolling up with a nice counter hit into the Deus Ex. Really back and forth right now here in game two. Oh. Just barely reaching for that wall break as well. Another hard knockdown. Just gonna go for the curse here. Oh, and you'll think the tornado catches you on the, the oh, you are nasty with it. Oh my goodness, Umi Show. Pulling out the super with the gold burst, but unfortunately, it could have cost her there because that far slash connects and there was no burst available to stop the confirm. And uh that is Razo going up 2-0 over the gunslinger goddess herself. And uh Doing it with Giovanna, not even representing the Leo White Fang, just going straight to the Secret Service and saying, hey, this man's got a gun. Take him down. Take him down. He's a threat to the president. And uh, Sometimes man. you just want that extra dash speed. You want to be able to get in as fast as possible. You know, Leo has great defensive opportunities, but sometimes you really just want to stack all those stat points into the neutral, right? Just pulling up here with these five Bs, really maintaining that pressure. Plus frames and a nice little 5k. Plus frames again. Strike throw. Here we go. Umi Show going to just continue to be put into the block screen pressure. But the 2k starts the pressure sequence for Umi Show here. Oh. Yep, a little bit of that steady aim shenanigans. Playing a little bit slower here. Umi Show, you know, of course, is one game away from being knocked out of the bracket by Razo. On the Geo, no less, but the throw gonna open you up once again. Not gonna use the meter for it. Yep, RC up to keep it first safe. No confirm into the super. Yep. Oh, oh we drop and we pick it right back up. Oh my goodness. Those are the kind of drops that if you don't get those pickup situations can cripple the mental game. Luckily, Razo able to hold on to it. Burst forced out pretty early and into the strike throw overhead situation. We're just getting wrecked by the barefoot happy chaos right now. Somebody get this man some shoes. Oh my goodness, yep. 5k QD pulling up here that counter hit, allowing the combo BRC backdash into the jump P though. Should be able to kill, but no routing into the Deus Ex Machina. Maybe thinking that it wouldn't scale on the gravity that hard. 
All right, and uh, BRC comes out. Umisho gonna need to find a spot to reload. No bullets. Ooh. Just kidding. What does this bear know? We are just gonna throw hands. We don't even need the guns. Throw out the 2K, maybe trying to stuff. A, uh, you know, round start option from Umisho here, but just gradually. Oh no, trying to take that space, but you need to use the burst to get the corner, but unfortunately, ID over. So many side swats. It's like a revolving door over here on this left side. Oh, good gold burst from Umisho. We did see the gold burst detrimentally affect Umisho last time, but so far, so good. Stoopers through the clone call. The PRC is there, and Umisho demonstrating incredible awoke and awareness there. Jeez Louise. Yeah, Razo super aware of the concentration running out, but Umisho knows you're looking at that resource, looking for the PRC for it, and now gonna take the first wow. game on the board here. Game three over to Umisho. Still 1-2 against, uh, still 1-2 against Razo though. Yeah, definitely, but if Weekly 45 has shown us anything, it is that Game five situations are never, never too far out of reach. And uh, if anybody's going to be able to pull out a game five, it's going to be Umi show with the happy chaos. So I'm excited to see. But it's also great to see that, like, you know, you're not seeing Razo, the, you know, tried and true Leo specialist, like come out and use Leo. It's showing that the cracks in the armor of happy chaos are there, even in, even with, you know, the less popular characters. Cause Geo's cool, but she's not as popular as some of the other characters. And uh, Razo opening with a gold burst into a nice back throw out the sky incident. Here we go. Yep, Razo absolutely partying right now. Wants that health modifier and the chip damage available as well. Look, Umisho has to use the FD. Otherwise, you're taking that chip damage from these normals. PRC to keep the pressure up in the corner. First does come out. Umisho believes in the round. And Razo going to have to fight back in here. Only one touch really needed, though. And the chip damage is going to start to collect here as that meter goes up for Giovanna. Far slash connects. And that is going to be the round. Match point for Razo here. Really looking good. Oh, anti-air 5P comes out from Umi Show to get the gun pressure started in the corner. We get clipped right into a slump situation. Oh, yep, just trying to keep up that pressure once again. Razo, no meter available, using it on the FD, but still Umi Show is sticking to you like butter on toast, unavailable, and escape from this corner that is but Razo. Oh no, not able to oh, keep wow. up the pressure long enough that Deus Ex Machina is gonna clear here. That is a big rip of damage. Secret Service agent gonna hang on by a thread. Not gonna be enough. The JS gonna clip the dome on the drop in, and uh, Umi Show looking to try to tie it up here. Starting off with a 5K counter hit, pushing Razo back, and a nice punish on the spiral arrow. Burst in the bag. This is a robbery, and Razo truly on the back foot right now. Strike throw. Here we go. Trying to steal the momentum back. No burst going to be available for Razo here. You got to keep up this pressure. Go for the metered wall break into that positive bonus. The damage cranking out here. Not as much as we've seen before because of the scaling. But still, you want that hard knockdown just to get that free corner carry. Indeed. I like the JS. Trying to lock down the jump out attempt. Burst is available. But okay. No. IRC, get off me. Umi Show going to try to roll through our problems. Nice pop up. And this is a big drop opportunity. Razo could capitalize here. Any hit that is clean is going to put this game away. Yep, just looking for one, trying to catch something out with the dash 5k. Maybe a misplaced normal for movie show is going to be enough to take it. I don't know, it's so scary. You have to be careful. No chip damage available. Wow. Not enough meter, and Ubi show ties it up. Another oh game goodness. five. You can't make this shit up. You cannot, like, you cannot, and if you, and if, like, I, and I wouldn't, I, you can't make it up, but I would not believe you if you told me that there were this many game fives tonight, and that there were this many game fives off of potential 3-0 situations, like, mm -hmm. you couldn't make me believe it if I hadn't witnessed it here firsthand for myself, and you know what, chat, you know, I'm glad all of you were out here to witness it alongside us, because Man. damn, if this isn't some good-ass guilty gear. Game five, losers finals here. Razo versus Umi Show. The lovers quarrel, if you will. Mm -hmm, exactly. 400 of you pulling up here to game five of the losers finals, trying to see who makes it to the losers side, trying to fight Nubenheimer once again for that run back in grands. But Umi Show able to get the opening here. Burst still available, about to build up that 50% meter. Oh no, let go of the FD a little bit too early. 
Indeed, a nice little double reload from Umisho to keep the pressure going. And this is oh, a, a nice attempt on the back dash, but we dash out 2K and now Razo trying to get the pressure cooker started here. Yeah, pull up into the 2S, go for that throw situation here. Not gonna RC it though, still scared of Umisho's burst and knows that they dropped the burst safe route earlier. So just trying to keep up the defensive options if they make their way back out 5P. Gotta be careful with those throws though. Gold burst! Gold burst. SQ with, with the rate of 78, what is oh good? Chilling out here goodness. we're at game 5. Fighting to see who gets grand finals. It's your boy Jaitsu and Don't Care Bear. And Umisho and Razo just trying to get the first hit in the neutral here. Oh my goodness. I'm yes. all for the big counter hit. 214K coming out from Razo. And Razo on match life bar right now. Umisho going to do her best to try to tie it up here and really send this game five situation the distance. Getting it started here. Yep. Razo sticking on this Geo counter pick. She is ready to bring it home. Just needs one more round, has burst available, but still waiting on Umisho to get a little too greedy about baiting it, right? Sometimes the resource is best used as a threat and not actually in execution. The pull up with the throw. Oh my goodness, the throw tech from Umisho. And this burst is going to not be baited. Oh, good BRC into the block there. BRC into a counter hit, close slash. This is a big damage headed Umisho's way. Huge. What Razo a with throw! Taking oh, it 3 2 over Umi Show with the Giovanna representing right now. Don't even need the Leo to take you out, but what a close game five it was. Oh my god. I see, I see you, Razo. That, that's going to be Razo moving up to. Uh... Grand Finals, damn. And now we're rolling right into Grand Finals with Oni Nubenheimer versus Intel's own Razo. And here we go. 5K starting it off for Nubenheimer. And uh, oh, oh, my eyes don't deceive me. It looks like Razo taking the P1 side and uh, making the the reigning winner side, winner's finals champ there, take the P2 side. Power move. <laughs> We got the little name switch here and also still sticking on the Geo, right? Even pulling up on Nubenheimer saying, all right, it's not just a funny little counter pick for Umi Show. I am sticking with the Geo and you have to be afraid of it. The strike throw, pull it up here, but still close slash opening you up on that knockdown situation. Indeed, and this big old super gonna chunk that white bar away. Even with a defense buffs, that is a grip of life. Geo at 100 meter now though. Razo gonna get the defense buffs. Anti-air 5P into a beautiful far slash confirm. Nubenheimer taking the first round of grand finals. Oh, the 5K just pulling up with the dash here, still evading the active frames. Oh, throw to put you back into the corner as well. Burst about to be available. Razo taking those plus frames off the spiral arrow. Really nice use of the far slash vibe check there. Back throw incident for Razo, gonna keep the pressure going. 2S breaking the ankles right into the super. We go through the wall into an Oki situation. Yep, break it, break the HP, break the glass, pulling up your RC just enough of the puzzle. No! Okay. Wow. Ooh, you're scaring me, Razo. Right. Drop opportunity or reset, you guys decide. <laughs> Oh, 6P, get off of me. A beautiful burst bait attempted by Nubenheimer. Not going to bite, though. Razo keeping it locked up, waiting for the right opportunity. Oh, 6 aging you back into the corner. Not a lot of blood to work with, but going to recover a decent amount off that 2S5H. My beloved, a little bit nerfed, but still super strong in this patch here. Oh, my goodness. We catch the spiral arrow with the 5K toe tap. And that's seven golden letters for Nubenheimer in game one of grand finals going up one zero. But again, we can't be like, oh, that's this crazy great momentum start because we've seen set after set go up two zero just to be stumbled and dropped three to two by the one who was previously oppressed. So we're going to have to just stay on the edge of your seat, hold your breath, and we're going to get through this chat. And uh, here we go, Nubenheimer getting the vibe checked by the 5P. Razo, strike throw, here we go. A little bit of that Mario Kart double dash pulling up into the throw once again. Don't even need to represent the strike just yet. It was that Nubenheimer is feeling, you know, a little feeling himself. Okay. First oh, into the corner here, PRC to avoid that jump H. Back dash, gonna get caught by the 5P and Razo is cooking through this round right now. 
Jumping straight over the far slash. Nubenheimer, not a lot of health left. 50% mute. Yep, just go for the five Ps. You don't yep. need a big bombo here. Just go for something Indeed. simple. When in doubt, mash it out. Engage in a little barre, if you will. If you want to fancy it up, make it sound a little better. Putting the five in five piece, so true. You know, you, it's a, it's a pretty quick move. You can do it multiple times in a row. And Razo, doing the most with it. Far slash. Yup. Just gonna backdash. See if Nubenheimer tries to go for a mash afterwards. Plus frames off of the spiral arrow, stuck in the corner here. I like the back Fukio far slash vibe check. It's caught a lot of people. Razo not biting though. Back throw incident, getting it going. Like the block on the cross up from Nubenheimer, but we get counter hit by the far slash and put in a wake up super situation. Oh, oh that's the so confirmed. I didn't know that. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see you, Nubenheimer. Got to hold this mix though, and that is going to be a big rip of damage and a big breadstick on the board for Razo tying it up in grand finals. Even after the cool super sour spot mm -hmm. confirm, I really only thought it was on the tipper there, but I guess yeah. at a certain height above, it gives you that interesting conversion as well. But still, Indeed. Razo able to tie it up, bring us over to the game three, double breadsticks on both sides. Let's see who can take the lead here. Indeed. And uh, this, this is the back and forth you love to see. And it still puts the building blocks down for that game five situation. So like, I'm all for it. One to one, two to two, you know, three to two, wherever we end up this evening. Do we see the reset right now? Razo making a case for it with that counter hit 2P. But the big body backdash 5K stops the approach. Nubenheimer bursting out, getting the counter hit 2S here. Right, far slash slash the series getting you so much blood to work with here Fukio behind the clone keeping up the pressure Nubenheimer comfortable with that two levels of blood Razo not a lot of it blood is. left in the tank for her and that's gonna be the 5h to take it mm -hmm. indeed plenty of plenty of meter but those heavy slash and or the slash normals on Nago chunking out just hurt so bad and okay, a little 5P, 2P vibe check in the corner to put Razo through the wall. And a big counter hit, trying to get the momentum rolling here for Razo. Yep, a 6 inch. Oh my god, just gonna go what straight into it. Yep, mm -hmm. let the super rock off of the wall break. No scaling needed. Just go straight into it. Let it rock with all the damage possible to throw with, though. Nubenheimer's gonna be able to take it. Try and keep it burst safe, though. Oh, no. Oh, but Razo's no. still not gonna bite. 50% meter. No burst on the side of Nubenheimer. Should <laughs> Curse it. Okay, here we go. Nubenheimer pulls up with the Fukio throw. And that is going to be Nubenheimer now moving up to set point to take the winner's run and uh, put 45 in the bag yep, weekly 45 yeah you know razo <laughs> looking so strong on the geo has some of these mm -hmm. optimal confirms but it's those weird situations right where normally it hits but you're just a little bit too far from the corner or it yeah. hits a little bit at a weird spacing and you're not quite able to get the confirm you have the mm -hmm. resources available for it but you don't even know that you need to use them set point for nubenheimer here let's see if razo is able to tie it up once again Indeed, plus frames off the spiral arrow into the strike throw. Love to see it. Razo trying to get it going, holding on. Two life bars left for them in this grand final set, potentially. And another beautiful confirm right through the wall on the noble vampire samurai. That is Nubenheimer. Another one, but oh my goodness, Nubenheimer's health just getting absolutely melted here. Back throw incident. Are you going to be able to make the most of it? The Ivy is not going to save you from the corner pressure. 50% meter available, but still just going for another interaction, and you are going to regret that choice. Razo, can you keep it up? 5P, 5P. We, we 5P, 5P our problems away. Umi Show and Razo, big fans of that punch button, but getting punched up by the close slash here. Oh, and a 6B to stop that spiral arrow. Nubenheimer woke, looking for you to try and get greedy with those plus frames. Indeed, and speaking of greed, went for the full far slash conversion and paid the price for it. 50% off the life bar and a whiff throw forces out the PRC. Counter hit still connects. Burst has to come out for Nubenheimer. Oh, it's so scary here, not trying to throw out anything too committal, because you know that Nubenheimer has the reactions to stop a spiral arrow. Oh. 2D not going to get you what you're looking for here, though. The RC Nubenheimer puts you back in the oh. corner. Close oh. left. No, but it doesn't confirm oh, it to the 5 age. Wow, the, the Razo robbery on deck here. The potential is rising. Strike throw, here we go. 50 meter on deck. One guess wrong for Nubenheimer could be doomed here. 
Not matching on the late PRC. Newman Ivory, you have one more there it is. 5P to take it once again, oh tying God. it up. Two, two. We are on reset and tournament point. Who's going to be able oh to come out ahead? Goodness. Do we have another first to three ahead of us, Bear? Or are ah. we going to be seeing it cleared out by Nubenheimer for weekly ah. number 45? It is It is anybody's game at this point. I could not make heads or tails of who is going to come out on top right now. Just given the back and forth that we're seeing right now, like yeah. it is literally, I, I think we might actually see a round three situation to determine whether or not we reset or just go home. 6P, get off of me. Starts things off strong for Nubenheimer. No burst from Razzo yet. Alt 2K forcing out the burst there. Nubenheimer does not even want to get knocked down, but the counter hit forcing us out of the corner here. Forcing you into the corner, actually. Nubenheimer, oh, trying to go for a little air stall with that jump D. We're going to get caught out with a big counter hit into the super. Does it kill? It does. Wow. Really, really good stuff from Razzo there. And now Nubenheimer, back foot, back against the wall, potentially. This is reset point. Good big body back dash. What? That four slash. Yep, plus frames off the spiral arrow once again. Getting greedy with these frames. Oh, back throw instant. It begins Nubenheimer's turn in the corner. Instant block, FD looking good. YRC, get off me. We back throw our problems into PRC, forcing the burst off of Razzo, and we are momentum shifting right now. Whiff throw. Oh my goodness, Nubenheimer is cooking right now. Yep, okay, we're it's a fifth gear on the Tokyo Drift. The back throw going to slam back it back throws. down to the ground. There's no way we're at here in the game five round oh three situation. Goodness. No burst available. No 6P on the spiral arrow. Scared to swing in the neutral here, right? Because we know that Razo has the confirms going for the blood sucking universe. A full Indeed. bar of blood to party with. Indeed. Oh my goodness. Blood sucking universe wins, but we get the PRC in a close slash. 6H connects, and Razo's oh. life is dwindling. One touch will do it. These slash normals and the chip damage gonna count, gonna add up. And the 6P stops the corner escape with the 5K connects. Oh, oh no, you're getting the 5Ks again, but it's so scary, right? You're not sure if it's gonna hit. Not hit confirming it. It's oh. gonna be huge. No, it's oh, my goodness. Completed. Nubenheimer is the winner of Nine Moons oh, Weekly, number 45, taking it in the last round of game five over Razo on the wow. deal. It was so close to the Damn. reason there. I cannot believe it.